Boom, is it even working? I have no idea. I'm using new software, I'm not- I'm so- I'm such a noob for this stuff. I don't even know if it's working or not. Hey! Thanks! YouTube at least is working! Good! I'm gonna see you guys on YouTube. What about Twitch? Do we got Twitch out working? Hey, Twitch might finally be working. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to get Twitch working for like half a year. And I think it's finally on here. Hip hip hooray! Alright, anyway. Hello Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for some more Pokemon Platinum Cute Charm. And we're filming old school today. And I mean old school. I have like my crappy camera facing me, uh, my other camera, my webcam facing the game, because we're doing GBA inserts by popular demand. Finally! Um, so welcome to the stream, uh, Kai Baker, uh, Cool Boy 649, Slosh Striker 997, Seto Kaiba. OGP, uh, no, OGP, not OGB. That, that'd be a little, I'm, I'm mistaken, accidental, you know, if, uh, I don't know, maybe you are an OGB. Um, Mega Mythical, Stupid Greninja Must Die, The Shiny Decidueye, Green Armor, Jake Gorman! Hey, how long am I planning on streaming for? Honestly, I don't really know. Um, it's, uh, gonna be up to my phone, because I've got other stuff to do, I'm supposed to be doing today, and we'll see if it bothers me later. Um, hey, uh, Fraser Dowd also managed to make another stream. I'm gonna call you the OGB, okay, uh, o o -P -G? Dyslexia totally took over there. Which, I'm, I'm a guy, why would I even, I don't know, I don't even know where that came from. Bread, and Ben Carey, and Real Cun, Catfish, Real Cun! That's, that sounds like a name I don't want to say, like, uh, like an old school Japanese samurai, Real Cun! Uh, Zach Mahoney, hey, and everybody else, welcome to the stream, guys. Today, as you can see, um, I gotta film the old way, the old crappy way, so, uh, I wanna get this done. All of these GBA, GBA inserts, I want them done. And, um, got a whole stack of them all right here. So, uh, we're gonna try and do this. And welcome RNG Glaceon and the Train Toucan and Darth Diglett and everybody else. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, so before we get started, um, how's my audio sound? Uh, like, are we at a good level? The new program, it's like super annoying and won't let me test it, but it makes streaming a lot easier. So I'm hoping this is better. Seeing this stuff is bringing me back. I haven't seen a stream in an actual year. You know, it's, I'm sorry. It's been a long time for me to, to be doing these streams. Though I did one, like, just a few days ago with, um, audio's good. Audio's fine. Let me know if we get into a battle or something louder. Do you think if it gets louder, it's going to be a problem? Welcome, Shining Silvilly. Shining Silvilly. Goodness, I can't speak. And everybody else out there, thanks, guys. Everything sounds fine. Okay, good. Um, That's good to hear. So, basically, from here, we can start ourselves some recording. So, uh, if you guys have not been here while I record uh, while streaming, um, since you guys uh, help me so much with Pokemon Q Charm, and whenever I do the uh, in-between, like, I'll see you guys when we get lucky thing, um, that's basically me talking to you guys on stream, because, um, I'm either generically talking to the camera, which is all of you watching, or it's you in the future on YouTube, or I'm talking to you guys as a group. So, um, if I miss your comments, and I'm just talking to the camera, that's why, um, so just letting you know, that's how this goes down. Um, aside from that, uh, we may or may not have a lot of in-between time this time, I'm not sure. Um, I've never done these GBA inserts before, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but, um, either way, we say we get started, shall we? Um, making sure the darn thing is even working. Is it? I think so. Oh, I think it was working. Man, it's really hard to tell in this new software if it works at all. Either way, let's go! Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are watching some more Pokemon Platinum Cute Charm, and today we have reverted to an old school style of filming, the way I did when I started filming in Pokemon Heart Gold Cute Charm, my original series. I had to basically set up, as you can see, a webcam facing my game, um, and I took my best webcam, had it face the game so that we at least have the best quality possible on the game. Um, I can't get a bottom screen anymore, so as you can see down there, kind of reveals what we're doing. We're doing GBA inserts, which basically means if you have the Game Boy Advance versions of the uh, five Pokemon games that came out on the Game Boy Advance, which are Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Emerald, you can insert them into your Game Boy Advance, and it will give you 
new Pokemon that you can find in very particular patches of grass. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going one game at a time trying to get all of them to shine. And there's a lot of really cool ones that we can see in here. So uh, anyway, the very first one that I really want to do for you guys today, which this is really hard for me to even run like this. I don't even remember how to do this. Gosh, this is weird. Um, and I'm once again trying to live stream this. This is the first time I've ever actually had to live stream with all the webcam stuff going on. Trust me, like, there's so many cables around me right now, I can't move. You don't see it. Plus, at this angle, I can't, I can honestly not even see my screen. Oh, please tell me I have cut. Son of a biscuit! Who's with me right now? Can anybody, uh, I could be an idiot and give it to, like, our scissor. It would make it helpful. I mean, uh, I keep the scissor with us because it has a uh, false swipe, you know, so I feel bad about uh, getting rid of it. But um, at the same time, we got to move around because the first one we got to get today is a really cool one. Oh, actually, there's several people. No, it's just coconut. I'm not giving it to coconut. Strike. Sorry, but I'm going to give you cut. Uh, you got focus, energy, pursuit. False swipe and agility, to be completely honest, those all kind of stink, so... How about we get a fit of focus energy? One, two, and poof! Was that really focus energy? Yeah, I, I, th at this angle, I cannot see- You guys are all yelling, no, don't do that. Uh-oh. Um, sorry! <laughs> guys, I can get rid of it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm not raising that scissor. It's just in my party for false swipe. Oh my gosh, the internet is so mad at me right now. So yeah, um, you cannot actually see comments on here, so uh, just, it's not a big deal. My gosh, it's so hard to see. Um, magic is actually out in the front of the party. I've made sure that magic actually doesn't faint, um, so it's really helping us out here. Uh, everyone is so sad. I will remove it later. It'll be okay. This is just so we can get in. Now, what we're going to do is save, because first off, if you go into the old chateau, uh, or however you're supposed to say it, with any of the GBA inserts, this is the only Pokemon you can access with any of the inserts, then um, you'll be able to find a Gengar. But uh, I'm not sure which room it is. I've honestly never done this before. Uh, according to Serebii, it is the room with eyes on the wall. I, I don't exactly know where that is. There's no eyes in the walls here. I didn't see any. Um, and then as soon as we get to that point, we see some eyes on the walls. We're going to save. Because we're going to shiny hunt this. Oh, dear. There's a lot of rooms. Now, I remember Rotom was slash is in one of these, too. But Rotom will not shine for us. So that's a shame. Also, um, guys out there on the stream, let me know if uh, our audio gets a little too loud. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to run. If the audio is too loud, I will switch it for you. It's obviously this is all so strange and hard for me to record. Uh, I'm gonna say there's no eyes there. Eyes on the wall, spoopy Pokemon. Yes, Gengar. We're going for the Gengar first. I'm just too excited for the Gengar. Um, can somebody please? Okay, you guys are letting me know the audio is okay because on my headphones it's kind of loud. Just making sure. I'm just, uh, isn't there a legendary Pokemon to Platinum that can shine? Yes, there is one and only one. It is Heatran. So, I want to make sure Heatran we save for our final shiny hunt. I don't see eyes on the walls here. Um, I actually don't see them in the next room either. So, let's keep going. <laughs> eyes or the letter I. Let's skip a room and go to this one. Gengar! eyes on the wall. There's a Pokeball to our right. I don't see any... Wait, 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 is this it? Oh! Oh! You see that? It disappears! Let's save. I think it's this. Oh, that is creepy! Did you see that? It's really faint. It's like two pixels. But, um, whenever I'm facing this painting, there are no eyes, no red eyes. I step away See it? Red eyes. It's very hard to see. But let's try this. No! No! Nothing! Why? Maybe maybe I wild encounter him in this room? I don't know. 
No. I don't know how you do this. <laughs> um, some people say they saw it. Okay, good. It's really hard to see. So is this not the room with the eyes on the wall? I don't know. I didn't see him. Um, there's no Gengar here. Uh, can I sleep in the bed, maybe? Let's try the next room over. I don't know, um... I've, like I said, I've never done this before. I have no idea where you find the Gengar. Oh. Substitute? Well... Not bad. You see it? Um, try and encounter again? You guys think it's, um... Yeah, I, I definitely think that is the room with the eyes on the wall. I guess. Maybe he is a wild encounter? And you don't encounter it by speaking with that thing. What if I did it here? Got an encounter right there. That looked different? Yeah, flips the table. Nope. But it is a shiny ghastly. That looks really cool. But we do have a shiny ghastly. We also have a shiny haunter. Oh, you guys say it's a 4% encounter rate? Oh my gosh. We're going to be in here for a while, if that's the case. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to be in here a while. Let's start running so we can try and find a shiny Gengar. This may take a while. Ghastly was the substitute for Gengar? Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? 4%? Who's going to ever do that? Yeah, what level is this thing? Good question there, Bonnie. I don't know. This is insane. You have to find a 4% in this one particular room. Good point. Can I repel trick it? Well, I don't know about that because um, magic is at a set level. Gengar would have to be at a pretty high level. All right, now I'm hearing it's 5%. Still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. Um, so I can't see uh, comments coming over on uh, Twitch too. I see you guys both. Finally, I got Twitch working. Um, if you have a level 17 Pokemon, you can repel trick it. Dag Nabbit. Because the thing is... Oh wait, no I couldn't. This Ghastly's level 17. That's not gonna happen. This is weird. This is weird. So anyway, I was planning on doing stuff after this. And by stuff after this, I mean staying in Eterna Forest and trying to hunt out uh, with Leaf Green, we can get Weedle and two Kakunas. And uh, with that, obviously, we can finish up that line. And get uh, a bee drill, which is pretty sweet. Some Kanto finds I'm always a big fan of. Love the Kanto. Come on, run. So, uh, anyway, geez, I. This is gonna. This has been a while. This is gonna be a while too. But I was like, it's been a while for me, like streaming too. Gonna talk with you guys while playing Pokemon Q Charm. There's so much I haven't gotten to talk to you guys about. Like, oh my gosh, this is the first time I've gotten to like live stream or anything with you guys when um. The new Pokemon games has been announced. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I'm so excited for those. This looks so cool. Now there's some things that I'm not too excited about. Like, I'm not jumping the gun here, but I feel like they really ruined the rival. Made him like a loser instead of, you know, somebody who's supposed to be uh, really hating you. But gosh, what are the odds here? Oh, this is awful. This is going to be awful. How do I even know if this is the room with the eyes? Can someone even confirm that? Oh, man. But yeah, there's uh, there's so much in those games that looks so cool. They're really... I think it's an awesome marketing move. In order to uh, bring in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of new players who um, were introduced to Pokemon through Pokemon Go. There's so many people who have just... Uh, played in Pokemon Go, and uh, this is an amazing way in Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu to bring those new players to the main game. Because I've got a feeling when Gen 8 comes around in the next year, um, they're going to um, try and implement those same things. Like, trying to, right now they're giving us a cushy remake of Yellow so that we, everybody slowly gets into this new form of Pokemon, and then they hit us with Gen 8 using what we've just learned. Um, I don't know. I got a feeling it's what they're going to be doing. So, um, anyway, looks like this is going to take a long time. Somebody, uh, Anther just confirmed. You saw it in another video. It is indeed this room. Gengar is in here at an extremely low rate. 
and only with a game plugged into the uh, GBA port, which means I have to play it on an old DS that has a GBA port. And uh, trust me, this is the best one. You guys are not even gonna see this shiny at all on this screen. Like it's such a subtle shiny already. And that ghastly looks screwed up for crying out loud. So this is going to be um, a mess. Actually, uh, Scrub, you're saying Gen 8's gonna be like Gen 6 and 7? That's a shame. Cause I, I kinda like the new idea, but we'll see. I think they're doing that just to make sure that they don't lose people, but they're trying to bring people back into the franchise, which is what's important about Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. That's the big idea. So, um, alright, so many Ghastlies. Come on, Gengar. Unfortunately, it might take a while. So, I say we do a bit of montaging. So, I'm gonna see you guys when we get lucky. And with that, I can finally just talk with you guys. So, uh, yeah, welcome, um... Kobe Cole 24 on uh, Twitch. I do see and hear you over there. If anything, you got a, an exclusive chat room to yourself. YouTube fills up first, obviously. Uh, welcome, Bonnie. I'm so glad you were able to fix that. I was wondering. I was like, where'd Bonnie go? I feel lonely. And uh, Shark Attack Let's Go Pikachu looks like it's going to be a spinoff series for more casual people, while Gen 8's going to be a harder and uh, similar to Gen 6 or 7. Yeah, I've got that feeling, too. Um, but I was hoping, if anything, they kept, like the go mechanics and stuff like that into it. So, yes! Oh, not shiny, but it's a Gengar. Gengars are in here, confirmed. We just gotta get that sucker to shine. And I'm gonna see that shine in a minute. Maybe a long minute. Give me a while. Oh my, just got a shiny right on, awesome. Let's draw stuff. Uh, I'm so used to circle pad that he, uh, cross pad kinda hurts my thumb. Why isn't the stream going faster? What do you mean? Is something wrong with the internet? I, I have no idea. My stream quality looks like it's doing very, very well. I have no dropped frames. Uh, the FPS is a solid 30. That's everything I asked it to do. Shark dudes, good morning, how you doing? We are shiny hunting in Pokemon Platinum Cute Charm, trying to find an extremely rare Gengar. We want the Gengar to shine. Um, uh, 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 Bubba, Zach, man, I've always used to the live stream. This is kind of weird. I'm used to the montage, but this is a uh, fan with the shiny Charmander you named. Or Chimchar, Chimchar. Oh, yes. I'm going to say, I'm, I don't remember. I named a lot of shinies. People ask me, and I'll just throw out, like, Fork <laughs> or um, Applesauce or something. You got to have great names for these things. Um, Ah, it's meant for uh, competitive players. Okay, that makes sense. So they're going in two different directions to try and appease everybody. That's cool. Do you play Pokemon Quest? I've heard of it, um, but aesthetically it doesn't look like a game for me. So no, I haven't downloaded it yet. Um, ooh, good luck on your uh, Stakataka hunt. I have dyslexia. I cannot read that Pokemon's name for the life of me. Uh, looking for going to a shiny uh, Sneasel SOS. Ooh, very cool. Definitely. Um, also, it's good to see you, Alex. How you been? Shark Attack, busy, man, busy. Um, the job situation's not going so well, but I'm trying. Do my best. Uh, hey, RNG Glaceon, do you have the national decks? Yes, I actually, you need the national decks for all this to work, all the post-game stuff. I think there are new daily hunts available actual nas after national decks. You are correct, but for today, I mostly want to get, um, these GBA hunts done. Pokemon Quest sucks. I don't know anything about it, honestly. Um, no, it's not on mobile yet. Come on, Gengar. Still trying to get a Gengar, but I don't have my game Q-Charm, so rip. You can still find a Gengar. He just won't sparkle. Well, mine won't sparkle either, and I've got Q-Charm. Will you be trading after all this because I have Milkshake, the shiny Litten, and another shiny starter you have? Um, well, thank you, Panda, but, uh, not today because, um... It, it takes, like, this is not the capture card, obviously, and it takes, a, like, like I mentioned before, there are so many cables around me right now, I cannot possibly unhook everything to get this all set up. By the way, how's Type Null? I've basically given up. And I'm just gonna wait until somebody wants to trade me a shiny Type Null, and I'll be done with it. I'll just trade them a shiny from Q-Charm and say, cool, there you go, have a shiny Gasly or something from Q-Charm, or I don't know. So much opens up after you lead four. So much opens up after national decks. If you don't have the national decks, um, 
not really. Not much opens up. Gengar must be salty on Shining. Well, he's like 4% to be fair. Or 5. One or the other. I remember the webcam quality of early Q-Charm. Yep. This is early Q-Charm. In fact, this is slightly better than old Q-Charm. Because, um... I'm using a new webcam to film the game. So this actually looks a little bit better than that, but it's still bad. Uh, I watched your HeartGold's little Silver Shiny playthrough. I still don't quite understand how the method works. If you don't mind, can you explain it? Uh, sure, really quick I could. Shark Dudes on uh, Twitch wants to know generally how this works. So, basically, um, if your trainer ID and your secret ID numbers are really close together, um, a glitch occurs. People call it a glitch, but it's really not. It's more bad accidental programming that Pokemon with the ability Q-Charm look to your ID and secret ID in order to determine um, what type of Pokemon, not just the gender, will appear. And um, people found out that if you had cute armor out front, you could actually repel shinies. So inversely, we found out you could attract them. And uh, I started doing this in order to uh, try and attract them with the correct uh, ID numbers, and it works. It's, it's like Pokemon Hunter's worst fear when you find out that Something that you can't change, like your ID number, can affect how rare shinies are. Uh, Pokemon Go trading is here. Yes, it is. And it sucks. Have you guys tried it? Okay. Um, you're not allowed to trade, or you are, but it costs an absurd amount of Stardust. You're not allowed to trade um, legendaries, shiny Pokemon, uh, Pokemon that are not in the other Pokemon person's Pokedex, and then even if you trade another Pokemon who they already have, who's not shiny or anything, it's not in their, po or already in their Pokedex, the stats will randomly change. Because the only thing um, Kim and I wanted to trade was like, oh, she needs a um, Hitmontop and I need a Hitmonchan. So we traded a Tyrogues. I had an extra Tyrogue that was the one she wanted. She had a Tyrogue, the one I wanted. And the stats randomly changed. So it was no longer the Tyrogue I wanted. And then you're not allowed to trade a traded Pokemon back to the same person anymore. So it's like, you can't even, like, one farm for the candy. You can't, um, trade them back and forth. You can just destroy stats. That's the only thing you can do. So, like, there's no point to trading. Absolutely no point. I was so pissed. Um, shinies for me have always, have always been easy in the 3DS game. Oh, well, they are. In the 3DS games, they double their odds for one. Then you can get shiny charms on top of that. But yeah. Ghost Trainer Nexus, welcome to the stream. We are uh, shiny hunting for a very, very rare shiny Gengar. Uh, what you can't trade Pokemon you don't have in your decks. Uh, what's the point then? I know, right? What is the point? So, like, say, Bonnie, say I, um, I get to meet you at, like, a convention or something, right? And you have a, um, a Kangaskhan or something, right? Uh, um, I'm not sure. Whatever. Say I, I have a Tauros, right? And you're like, oh, I want a Tauros because that's an American unique thing. And you're like, oh, well, um, or you go to Japan a good amount of times, right? Well, well, they actually had a far-fetched event, so I've got a far-fetched, but still. That's why I said Kangaskhan. Say it's Kangaskhan, right? So say you meet someone from another country and you're like, oh, let's trade unique Pokemon. You're not allowed to. It will cost an absurd amount of Stardust and you have to level up to be uh, best of friends, which takes at least five days before you can even do that. It's so dumb. You can do it. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, you uh, gathered far-fetched. What shiny is my favorite? Oh, man, uh... Ah, uh, it's a tough question. That is a tough question. I'm gonna to throw one out real quick. Ho oh. Ho is one of my favorite Pokemon. He's got one of the best shinies ever. On my first raid, I got a hundred percent Gengar on the first raid. Huh? Oh, you remind me, um, I just got an EX raid pass. Which is crazy because I never do raids. Um, I just got lucky. And unfortunately, it's like at um one o'clock uh, in like two days, and um, I have jury duty. It starts tomorrow. So um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go down. Hamster, I have a question. Do you like Wooper? Kim loves Wooper. I, I think Wooper's pretty cute. Wooper's funny. I like Wooper. Doesn't it take 90 days to be best friends? Sucks even more. I thought it was only five. Luxray is my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite shinies. What's your favorite fairy type? Um. Honestly, some of my favorite fairies are Pokemon who became fairy later on, like, um, Mowl and Gardevoir. 
the ones who were very later in the games, I wasn't as big of a fan. Oh my god, and you said, just said you like Shiny Ho-Oh. Yeah, what's wrong with Shiny Ho-Oh? I was reading someone else's comment. Hey, just got here, what are we hunting? Gravity hurts, we are searching for a 5% Shiny Gengar through GBA inserts. Objection! I have to go play Pokemon Go, be back later. <laughs> uh, jury duty, cool. Do you get paid for that in America? Um, you don't even get paid, you do, but you don't even get paid enough to pay for the parking that it takes to go do jury duty. So, I would say no. But Mimikyu! Oh, I totally forgot about Mimikyu. Wook man, hey answer, it's always awesome to see you streaming and to tune in. Thank you for doing this when you don't need to. Thank you so much. I will put that towards um, some new uh, games that we can play on the channel. Thank you, thank you guys. Um, and I do want to remind you guys, if you ever want to do uh, donations and stuff like that to help me out, um, more of it will go to me if you use uh, like PayPal or Patreon. Um, if you use Super Chat, I'm not calling you out or anything, Wook man. Just trying to let people know. Um, but seriously, thank you so much. Um, if you guys use Super Chat, like 30% of it goes to YouTube. They take it. So, kind of a bummer. Whooper is cute. Uh, do you like Blaziken? Bla I I've got mixed feelings on Blaziken. Like, it's cool. I don't love it. It's cool. Um, how dare you not adore Mimikyu or a shiny? I shiny hunted Mimikyu and raised it on my team. Please shine, please shine. Yes, Shiny Gengar! Shiny Gengar! I couldn't tell at all. We found Shiny Gengar! Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay, um, level 17. How are we gonna do this? Um, oh gosh, how are we gonna do this? Uh, let's open uh, another tab here. I'm gonna read you some information on Gengar so we know how to even catch this thing. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, so Gengar has a capture rate of 45, so it's basically identical to a legendary in the game at this point. Um, wow. Um, of course it's Ghost Poison. I really don't know what I can do against this thing. I think I've got some Quick Balls that may be our best option right now for turn one. Please, Gengar. Please. Come on. No! Oh! God. Oh, that is awful. What's it gonna know? It knows spite. Oh no, does it know curse? Um, at level 17, Gengar is going to know Nightshade, curse, mean look, and spite. Oh no. Um. Oh my. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, you guys are all freaking out. Like, I don't think I have any, uh, good point there, uh, Shark Duke. So I have anything to give it a status ailment. Uh, hold on. Check moves on slots. Recover, try attack, discharge. Nope. Um, magic's out. Coconut would, um, nope. Pelagard. Uh, wait, 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 I do, I do. Uh, Toffee. Swift. Or, Switch. Um, Toffee has, um, a paralyzing ability. Please don't use, please don't use curse. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, okay. Fight, um, Thunder Wave. Okay, Gengar's point paralyzed. Gosh, I'm- No! No! Oh, it- Oh, no! 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 Um, maybe that'll just help us. That'll help us, right? Oh god, it'll kill itself in one turn now. Oh. What's the best ball? I'm sorry you guys can't see the bottom screen again. Like I said, I gotta film it the funky way. Pokeballs, um, I have Dusk Balls. I do It's daytime. I don't think that'll count. Um... But we're inside the old chateau. Does a dusk ball still count? Um. Oh gosh. Um. Switch over. We got um. Mm, just ultra ball. I have ultra balls. All right, let's try an ultra ball. You're saying dusk balls count? No. Now you guys are fighting about the dusk ball. Oh my God, Gengar! Broke out. Gengar used mean look. Toffee can no longer escape. Afflicted by the curse. Toffee, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're screwed. Ultra Ball. Please. Please. Oh my god, it hasn't shaken at all yet. At all. Curse again. Failed. 
Hold on. Curse will fail if I have the HP to deal with it. Should I heal Toffee? Because then it cannot curse a second time. I think I should heal Toffee. I think, because because curse, I think, fails. Yes, you gotta heal. Um, I have 69 HP. Um, oh my gosh, this is not enough. Wait, hold on, hold on. HP, PP, restores. I only have, like, hyper potions. Gosh, this is not good. What a waste. There it goes. I, that buys me four turns. That buys me four turns. Um, Gengar Nightshade. Oh no, stop. Afflicted by the curse. It doesn't buy me four turns. It buys me two. Pokeballs, Ultra Ball, throw. Oh. Do you think full restore is going to get rid of it? One, two, three. Yes. Oh my god, we did it. Yes, we did it. Oh my god, we caught it! Shiny Gengar! Wild Shiny Gengar! Oh my god, we- Yes! Woohoo! Oh my god, we caught it! That was the only ball it even shook on! That was insane! Oh my god! The leer that floats in darkness belongs to a Gengar delighting in casting curses on people. The Shadow Pokemon. Oh my god! God! Give a nickname to the caught Gengar. Yes. Woo! That was nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, what do we name this? That was crazy. Name it Boo. Um. Oh my gosh. Got a couple people saying Casper. This thing was not friendly. Man, everybody wants Casper. Uh, okay, enough people are saying Casper. Should we, should we get <laughs> Nay hard to catch? Oh, man. Um, oh, jeez. Dinkleberg? <laughs> uh, Black Storm. Kind of cool. But, uh, it looks like uh, enough people want Casper. We'll go with Casper. It's a girl. You guys know that? Does that change anything? Lavender? Kind of like Lavender as a, as a girl's name. Uh, Ghostbuster. Does the girl change anything, guys? No? Dinkleberg, Casper it is? No, I'm asking, like, do you want me to change this? Wasn't even that long. It's been a while. Hey, spicy pasta! But Wendy. I kind of like... Who are you gonna call? The Gengar Busters, Boogeyman. Lavender, lavender for the girl. All right, it's a good idea. I kind of like that name anyway. Lavender. Um, just double checking really quick. Yeah. All right. Lavender was transferred to box one in Baby's PC. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. That was nuts. And honestly, like, time-wise, I don't even know how much extra time we have for this episode, because that was actually kind of huge for me to do it. But, um, I am wondering, like, I'm not sure how rare the GBA inserts are, um, for Eterna Forest. Uh, because we do have the ability of finding, like I mentioned, uh, Weedle, Beedrill, and, um, Kakuna. Not wild Beedrill, but we can find a Beedrill. I want to go take a look at our shiny Gengar. You know, I, I'm a little excited. I want to take a look at this thing. Oh gosh, we may take um, the bugs next time, do like the whole trio. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty rare. You guys are just yell and save too. That is important. Let's do that. I like to save the game, yes. That was so rare. We saw, I think, like one other Gengar before that. So we actually got pretty lucky to even find um, a shiny Gengar that quickly. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, man, there was a lot of people giving good names like here. Like, I like Raven and, uh, <laughs> Dinkleberg. <laughs> we got a bunch of silly names, too. A lot of people wanted Casper, but, um, it is a girl Gengar. So we ended up changing our mind and going with Lavender. Baby's PC! Let's take a look at our Pokemon here. Down over here, we have Lavender. Let's put Lavender in, um, her appropriate position first. Wait, I don't have Haunter? Really? Where do you find Wild Haunter in the game? 
I get I totally forgot to get Haunter. Um, that's kind of weird. But anyway, let's summer. How do we get Gengar before we got Haunter? That is so weird. Whew. All right. So anyway, Lavender has a lax nature and likes to relax. Lax likes to relax. The ultimate laid-back Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, Lavender has the ability Levitate, uh, there's its stats right here, it did no curse, as we saw there, Nightshade, Mean Look, and Spite. That is so cool. Uh, you guys saying head to Turnback Cave? You know, I think because we got a little bit of time, how about we try and find Haunter? I don't know, like, um, how rare Haunter is. I'd have to check that really quick, see if, like, finding our Haunter today is a good idea. Uh, yeah, you guys are seeing Turnback Cave, I'm seeing that. Um, it's actually kind of common. It's really not bad. I could just run in there and grab Haunter and go. Um, just because. I kind of want to. Uh, I don't really remember how to get to Turnback Cave, so I'm gonna let the internet take me there. I'm gonna see you guys when we get there. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Uh, in Turnback Cave, uh, you are getting it there. How do I get to Turnback Cave? Uh, I'm gonna fly. I'm not hunting Heatran till last. I don't remember where Turnback Cave is. Is it over here somewhere? Does anybody know where I'm going? A uh, Laxception. Hunt, uh, Psyduck. We already hunted Psyduck. Psyduck was an early episode. Actually, like, episode 5 or something. Um, does anybody know about, uh, where I, where this place actually is? Um, Root by Veilstone. Uh, Heart Home... Pastoria, so, uh, what's Veilstone? Is this it? No. Um, GBA inserts are 8%. Alright, thanks. Um, cool, you got a shiny Jigglypuff and Crystal. I got, um, uh, Cleffa with my odd egg, and it's a Clefable now. You have no clue? Um, where this says? Don't remember actually, rip. Alright, this is bad. Oh, here's Veilstone. Um, uh, yes, it's here, Schools of Relief. Alex, would you like to have a freshly SR shiny type null? Just oh my gosh, you got it! You got it! Thank you, Orange Glacian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we got to do that later, but definitely for sure. Hands for the ten dollar donation. I already support you on Patreon. I don't have PayPal yet. Oh well, thank you so much. I I was just letting everybody else know. It's it's okay. Uh, will you still be streaming a couple hours? I don't know. I mean, if, if I got a text message because I'm going to see a movie with Matt later, uh, we're going to watch Jurassic World. Um, you need to go to the route where you find Houndour. There's a way to the right to this foggy lake, and there's a cave. Where I find Houndour? I don't even remember where that is. Uh, you need rock climb. Um, okay. I need to give you a shot here. I'm going to switch recordings because I've got no idea where I'm going. Um, I just found it randomly. That was my first random shiny crystal. Cool. They can even get magic because it's a girl and uh, magic's a boy here. So yeah, magic in my game's a guy. Matthew Davis, thank you for subscribing. Hope you enjoy my content. Under Veilstone City. Thank you guys. Are you still making cute charm games? I am. Uh, actually, I don't have any here at the time. Normally, I've got one here, but uh, this week I didn't have um, another set of games come in. No, I still don't. I know it's been almost two years. Actually, it's been over two years. It's been ridiculous. Uh, Muddy Mewtwo, what's going on? I am searching for um, a shiny Haunter so we can get a cool uh, ghost theme episode because we just got a, a Gengar. I'm going to move our Pokemon around just a little bit here because we want to... Um, hold on. Switch. Pokemon out to heal that and uh, I think what I gotta do since we have Snorlax and it knows rock climb I think you know rock climb yes okay I'm gonna have to take Snorlax with me it goes uh, after Flareon I'm gonna have to remember that when we go in there uh, yes by the way uh, the Eevee episodes are coming very soon I had to film those offline but we will get them actually gonna go check uh, how long it's been yeah please Hamstrom, how are you? Gaming Garchomp, how are you doing? I have a shiny type null. You missed my comment when you found the Gengar rip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, uh, you and uh, RNG Glaceon talk it out. Figure out what you guys want to do. 
Oh my gosh, but thank you guys so much for doing that for me. I'm sorry, I got a question. Will you consider streaming Smash 4 on, uh, for glory? Or really at mode? I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, uh, oh, Smash 4? I mean, I would, I'm definitely gonna play, um, Smash 5 when it comes out, or Smash Ultimate. But, um, Nintendo does not allow you to stream their games. It's actually against their policy, so if you see anybody doing it, they're really not allowed to do it. Um, I'm gonna switch for the scissor and put scissor in uh, Snorlax's place so I know where it goes. What is my favorite Eevee evolution? Probably Vaporeon. You follow the spring path to the turnback cave where the portal to the distortion world is. There's still a portal there? Honestly, I didn't even know that. Uh, what was your first random encounter, Shiny? Uh, yours was Young Goose. Mine was a, uh, Pidgey. And Pokemon Gold. How do I get out of here? So it's down here, right? Would you play a snake in Smash Brothers? Oh, I love Snake and Brawl. Totally. Um, though, Ridley, I am so screamy little girl excited about. I have to play as Ridley. At least at one point. It's totally gonna happen. Um, aside from that, I'm super excited about, um, gosh, Mewtwo coming back. And there's so much. I'm assuming I got to the right place, right? Is this it? Pokemon Gold? Yep. Hey, I played since Pokemon came out. Um, let's see. I don't go here. I take the rock climb thing, you guys say? Waluigi does not deserve to be in Smash Brothers. I've also played Smash Brothers since it came out. Waluigi is not a character that fits that at all. Plus, there's already too many Mario characters. There's too many Fire Emblem characters, for crying out loud. Way too many. They're fine having, like, two or three. But, oh my gosh, they need to stop. Okay, so, turn back cave between the first and second pillar. Do I surf my way into it? How do you get there? And I think I might have... Yes, he does. He does not?! <laughs> How can you say that? What are you talking about? Waluigi doesn't even have his own game. He doesn't represent anything. He's nothing. Yes, David Hayter is confirmed to come back as Snake. I'm so excited. That's awesome. Uh, it's like the extra square on the map above the lake. I'm trying to run from this stupid thing. Fine with any character, but I uh, used to main Pichu. Pichu is actually quite good. Yes. Waluigi is an assist trophy. Like, why are you upset? You got Waluigi in the game. Alright, is this it? Turn back cave? Do I just start running around now? Oh my god. Do I have defog? Pelipper? Thank god. Okay. Okay, now, um... Turn back cave between first and second... I, don't, I have no idea what I'm looking at here for the turn back cave, so I'm just gonna open this up here and read about it. Uh, you've been hunting type null since the 17th of February. Dang, that's one stubborn shiny. Um, of last year or the year before? It was last year. It was, it was either last year or the year before. Uh, but anyway, Pokemon in here. Actually, is Haunter the only one in here we need? Uh, is anyone chicken? Turn back K for me too. Doesn't Gengar appear through the TV in the mansion? Uh, no, that's, uh, you're thinking of Rotom. Uh, yes, you can just run back and forth in this room. For Haunter, yes, but I'm looking at the rest of the place because we could just finish it. Um, uh, we're going to come back for GBA insertion. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire, we got to come back in here. Crap. Unless I saved in here and kept switching. Man, that'd be weird. Should I do that? Should I? Oh, God. Because we're going to just find Haunters in here. Uh, I don't think the Waluigi should be in Smash Bro, to be honest. He, people are just getting too ahead of themselves. Like, okay, Mario's popular, yes, but Waluigi doesn't fit Super Smash Brothers at all. Um, Wario has his own legacy and his own games. Waluigi has nothing. Uh, yes, new live stream. It sucks I cannot watch it. It'd be my birthday. Happy birthday! You'll be able to watch this later. I understand Haunter is right here, but the thing is, there's GBA inserts of Lunatone and Soul Rock. They're genderless. They're genderless. We can't get them. Never mind. Same with Bronzo or Bronzong, we can't get them. Dustclops is in here at 5%. I think we found shiny Dustclops. Couldn't you swap the game right now? I'm not sure. I think you have to save and turn it off. That should have gone with MM Look for Young Link. Uh, they 
they kind of they did young link is from majora's mask that's why his stage was majora's mask um i mean his shield is different he has the Deku shield from uh, Ocarina of Time, but that's it. Um, looking around. Yeah, it looks like it's just Haunter. I'm still scrolling through everything here. Trying to look at all of them. And, uh, yeah, Giratina's at the bottom. I think that's it. It's really just, um, just him. Uh, hands time, you have 69 viewers right now. A very mature amount. We, uh, like to have some mature content around here. We're good at that. We're good at that. Alright, so yeah, it just looks like I'm gonna find a, um... Hold on, Platinum doesn't have Haunters. In the morning. Or the day. Or the night. Where's Haunter? In Platinum. Hold on, do I have to go down a floor? I have to go down a floor, he's not here. How do you do this? He's not on this floor. Poor Haunter, he must be lonely there. Oh no, there's plenty of other Pokemon, but they're all genderless and stuff like that. So, uh, he's, uh... He's sexually lonely, maybe. Turn back cave. Now, I don't know if I went up a floor or what between the first and second pillars. This is so confusing. Sir Guardian Cookie, how you doing? We're trying to figure out um where haunters are in here uh, in Turn Back Cave. Um, I've got a feeling that uh, this is correct and I should start looking in here. I'm really not sure. Uh, sad effect like burn would be nice. Yeah. Here, let's let's start looking in here. I, I got a feeling this is right. All right, guys, and we're back, and we're in turn back cave. I got a feeling that this is correct, but I really have no idea uh, whether we're gonna be able to find it here or not because um, turn back cave is really confusing. You guys are saying you need to go through the entrances and test every room. Oh my god. Well, haunter is a common. He's 40%, but only in some rooms. And to be honest, I have no idea. Sure. I have no idea whether, um... Okay, I thought something would have been there. I have no idea whether we're going the right way or not. Um, I have no idea. No, if I see a ghastly, you can't find it. Okay, so... For sure that's wrong. Because ghastlies are, um... On, in some rooms and haunters are in others. So, oh, here's here's a pillar. Um, I think this is correct. Now, does this change my encounter rate? What is this? One, two. What the crap? I'm going left. Um, how am I gonna get out of here? I just want haunter. I double checked um everything that we need in this environment, and uh, it's actually just haunter, which is cool. Hold on, I c this can't be right. Because, uh, Bronzors are not here in this area either. I should be seeing Bronzongs. I am so confused. I am so confused. Something about the pillars. Um, uh, maybe it's in the rooms with the pillars? No! Haunter! What the crap? Whatever, we're hunting in this room. So, anyway, other Pokemon who are in here, we have, a. Uh, uh, Chimeco, Chimecho, whoever, uh, and Dusclops, and Golbat, we have all three of those already. Um, there's Bronzor, Bronzong, genderless, unfortunately we cannot find them as shinies. Another Haunter, not shiny, we'll keep going. GBA inserts are also in here, and, um, the GBA inserts we can find would have been Lunatone and Solrock, very cool. But unfortunately, will not shine due to cute charm because they are genderless as well. So, that just leaves Haunter. So the only thing we need at Turnback Cave is Haunter. So we're actually um, doubling this up, making a good episode, filling it up with a cool ghost theme. Yes, yes, very nice. And uh, all we gotta do is get that um, common Haunter to sparkle. Or if a Bronzor or Bronzong sparkles, I will be excited. I will be very excited. But, um, we'll see. No, I'm not really sure about it. You guys are actually uh, talking about, like, uh, what, uh, new Smash Brothers and Pokemon games. I'm real excited about both. I mean, right now, I'm just so excited about all the new games coming out. I, I don't have any of the money for this stuff. Another Haunter, not shiny. You know, let's prepare here. Let's figure out what level these Haunters are going to be. They're at level 25. Hopefully, they don't know Curse. Alright. 
Uh, I'm just gonna walk while I do this because it's a little harder to search all this at the same time. Um, at level 25, Haunter is gonna know Shadow Punch, Sucker Punch, Confuse Ray, Nightshade. That's a 5%. I had a better chance of finding a shiny. Um, so, his capture rate is 90. Not so bad. In fact, um, I'm gonna throw a Quick Ball, then a, um... Dusk Ball, we should be able to get it without weakening him, and he's not gonna know Curse, so... Not as stressful as our Gengar, we're just looking for that blue mouth. Dang it! Um... Uh, Hamster, what was your reason for saying you dislike Gen 4 a lot? So, I don't dis- okay, people take that out of, um, context. Gen 4 has my favorite Pokemon game in it. And my least favorite Pokemon game in it. My least favorite are Diamond and Pearl. Platinum fixes all of the problems I have with Diamond and Pearl. Most of the problems I have with Diamond and Pearl. So, to be fair, they fixed a lot of it. And then those repaired problems were fixed again and made even better in my favorite Pokemon game, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So, I... People take that one out of context. So, there's that. I was gonna say, where the heck are the shinies in here, man? Thanks, Golbat, for reassuring me that I do have a, uh... A Pokemon out front. Uh, you guys are asking about a capture card. I do have the capture cards over there. But um, in order to find these shinies, just as a reminder, we do need to do GBA inserts. And um, my 3DS, as all 3DSs and even most Nintendo DSs, don't have a Game Boy Advance insert slot. So um, to insert the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games in order to find these new Pokemon, I have to do this. Now granted, for this particular hunt for Haunter, I don't need to do this. Uh, but this is part of the Gengar episodes. This is why we're doing it. So forget it, I guess. Um, but either way, um, I didn't even know you were in here. This cave is so confusing. This is so confusing. But anyway, um, searching for this Haunter. I'm really hoping that, uh, I, I mean, this cave is so confusing. Am I not in the right area? Because... I don't want to leave now because I, I found a Haunter. But the thing is, I'm finding, like, all sorts of stuff that doesn't make sense. Well, it's not the first time Cerebi has been very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. <laughs> oh, well. So, supposedly Giratina is in here? Um, I, people on the live stream will remember, and I don't. Did we kill Giratina? I think we did for the XP. I'm pretty sure we killed... Giratina. Um, I don't remember. Uh, but also, we were finally getting to play um, Pokemon Crystal, virtual console on the channel. Finally. Um, I was um, able to... Oh, my gosh. If you haven't seen that stream, go back and watch it. Like, we run into a completely unexpected shiny, and it's so cool. Um, it's now on my team, by the way. Um, but either way, that was awesome. We were doing all that nonsense. And uh, Haunter is still... Is not showing up, which is weird because it's a 40% supposedly. So I got a feeling it's not really 40%. No idea what the real percentages are, but it looks like it may take us a while to find this thing. So to find it, I'm just gonna have to see you guys when we get lucky. Um, okay, dang, thanks. Hope you figure this cave out. I hated that place. I just need Haunter. Alex, I have the official Platinum Guidebook in front of me, and you are in a correct room. Okay, cool. Thanks. I just don't understand why I'm seeing so many Pokemon in here. That doesn't make sense. Um, Haunter's screwing with my computer. <laughs> you mean Rot Rotom would do that? Totally. Um, yeah, some of you guys are asking about skipping. Um, I can assure you that um, my streaming quality has zero drop frames, so it's not me. Regular Haunter again. To check colors, I have to watch the stream back. I can't see it on my, um, um, my little screen, at my angle. You know when you look at your, uh, like an old DS at a funky angle, all the colors invert and stuff like that, or it's, like, really hard to see? That's what's going on. I, I can't look at it at this angle. Another normal Haunter. Would you say it is acceptable to buy Ultra Sun or Moon if you don't have the original Sun or Moon? Sure, why not? I mean, it's supposed, it's, like, just an enhanced version of the same thing. It's when, if you have the same, if you have Sun or Moon... No, don't buy Ultra Sun Moon. There's like no reason. Unless you're a hardcore shiny hunter. But even if you're if you're a hardcore shiny hunter, 
You wouldn't do it at the stupid easy odds that they give you in that game. Another normal haunter. Uh, what's the Clefuckle Fable, the unexpected shiny? No. Um, but if you want to increase your odds of haunter to 40%, you can go to the next pillar room. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. The feeling when a tackle misses. Yes! Shiny Haunter! Shiny Haunter! Finally! I don't know what was wrong. Some of you guys were saying if I moved to a different room, it would have been higher odds, but whatever. We just found that glorious blue Shiny Haunter. That sucker looks so, so glorious. Oh, looks so good. I'm so glad we were able to finish this evolutionary line today in one episode. Let's uh, throw a quick ball first. And then I'm gonna move to Dusk Balls. I think we're good after this. It's a- Oh, they're all girls. What was I thinking before? I was like, oh, the Gengar is a girl, guys. What are you doing? Why are you naming it Casper? Crap, it popped out. Uh, use Confuse Ray. Slots is confused. It's all right, Slots. You're not attacking. Pokeballs. Um, actually, you know what? Let's uh, switch Pokemon. I was gonna say switch to Toffee to paralyze it, but I don't really- We really don't need to. I mean, at the risk of uh, having to heal it again, I'd rather not. Dusk Ball. Come on. Please. One. Two. Three. Yes, kind of the cool ball. Got it in a Dusk Ball. Awesome. Haunter was captured, and that evolution is finished. Haunter's data was added to the Pokedex. The gas Pokemon. It likes to lurk in the dark and tap shoulders with a gaseous hand. Its touch causes endless shuddering. <laughs> okay, the cringe Pokemon. Give a nickname to the Cod Haunter, yes. Yeah, boy! Uh, oh, it is, and yes, we are naming it that. Uh, what? Waluigi. It's a girl, guys. And I really hate Waluigi, just saying. Wa Peach. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, like the Wa stuff needs to stop. The cold finger. <laughs> Ethera. Dinkelberg. Um What was the shine between two crystal files? Uh it was a uh horsey. Um it's gonna be a Kingdra soon, maybe even today if uh if I can trade with Matt. Terminus. Ooh, of the cave. I like that. That's pretty cool. Terminus? Shiver? Ooh. I want to see somebody pick someone else's nickname they've chosen. That way I'll know that I'm choosing a good one here. <laughs> Uncle Bad Touch? Um, hey, Lauren, how you doing? Uh, Pedro? Fantumus? Uh, dang, it's a girl. No Dinkleberg. Ethereal? Um, Lost Soul. Cringe. I'm not naming it Waluigi. No, no Bonnie. Um, what was it that, uh, Terminus? Yeah, ter I like Terminus. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool ghost name. Terminus was transferred to Box 5 in Baby's PC. Terminus. Uh, did I spell it wrong? I think I spelled it Terminus, not Terminus. Because it's Terminus, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. Is that the way out? That white door? Yeah, it totally is. I'm, I'm in the wrong place. Um, Terminus sounds like a bus stop. <laughs> it's the name of the cave. No, it's Turnback Cave. What am I thinking? Term Terminus sounds pretty cool, though. I don't know. I didn't think it was stupid. Let's, let's get out of here. I spelled it wrong anyway. I totally screwed this Pokemon up. Uh, besides, a lot of, actually, um, we want to go here next anyway. We're going to go for the uh, bugs next time. We're going to be getting uh, Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill, and we may get others on top of that. It depends, because these are going to be pretty rare. Did I really spell it wrong? Yeah, it's supposed to be spelled with a U. I think I spelled it with an I. I'm just totally wrong. Did I? Oh yeah, Terminus is Zygarde's Cave. It's still a cool name for it. Move, let's see, I'm gonna put... No, I spelled it right, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, let's go through the whole line here. Methane, our hasty likes to thrash about Ghastly. We have Terminus, our modest, sturdy body. Levitate, 
Uh, Night Shake, Infuse Ray, Sucker Punch, Shadow Punch, Haunter is the new addition. And of course, let's not forget, Lavender, who we just got. Yeah, they're actually named from other places. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. And our lax likes to relax Gengar. Yeah, just kicks back and relax and likes sour food. It just sits there and eats sour gummy worms all day watching Netflix. That is this Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next shiny Pokemon hunt. Do you? And of course, everybody on live stream, that just means uh, we're going to be filming another episode. I'm going to end that clip. Uh, we're going to do Weedle Kakuna. Uh, looks like the v movie's going to be at like 450 that I mentioned. Uh, I'm going about uh, 450. Oh, it's just him going. Okay. That's weird. His whole fan. Okay, so Matt, I, I think I told you guys. Um, Matt uh, fell and really hurt his leg, uh, tore a tendon, and um, of course it was during work, so he has to wait for workers comp, and it's he's sitting around at home for weeks in pain, and this happened on his birthday, and on his birthday he was supposed to go watch um, Jurassic World with his family, so um, I was like, I'll go with him, but now his family's not even going, I'm like, what? <laughs> Go watch the movie with him. He hurt his leg. Oh, uh, so um, I'm going to message Kim. Make sure she knows that. Movie at 4.50 at I'm not telling you guys where. Otherwise, you'll find me. And I want to watch a movie. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, he's not better. Uh, yeah, he is not better. He is on crutches. Um, he just wants to hobble his way and watch a freaking movie. Uh, actually, yes. Let's continue box operations, and I'm gonna move my box over here so that we can reorganize everything. Um, we're gonna put Weedle Kakuna in here. We also have a Sandshrew Sandslash we're gonna have to get with Leaf Green, as well as Vulpix and Ninetales. Let's put you here. Um, I think gravity did him a dirty. Uh, you live in Ohio, you might want to be careful. <laughs> yeah, I know, you might. You guys might try and find me if I go like, hey, we're gonna go watch Jurassic World at 4.50. And all of a sudden you're like, typing it out like, where is he? I will find you, I will find you. All right, let's 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 get over here. Uh, we will look for you, we will find you, and we will watch Jurassic World with you. <laughs> um, I still have to set up a time when I can actually like go with you guys and like do something. I don't know what you guys would want to do though, so that's why I'm like vacant on ideas. Um, so, I think what we need to do in here is, um, try and poke a radar chain to get these guys to appear. I think. I I'm really not sure. Uh, the new movie's pretty good, in your opinion? I just want to see dinosaurs. I'm gonna be happy. That's all that matters. People complain about the plots and those things. I'm like, I just want to watch. Bonnie, you're on the other side of the world. You know, I would let you. I'd totally let you. Yeah, come to Australia. Okay. That is really far away, and I'm already unemployed. Um, find me a space program in Australia that wants to employ me, and I will move. I am not I will move. My second older brother, uh, sprained a leg when he was resting a couple years ago. Yeah, it's terrible. We will torment you with Waluigi! <laughs> Wah! <laughs> um, I need to see Jurassic World, but I'm more excited about other action movies in Marvel and DC. Um, um, I've been falling out with their films lately. Australia has dinosaurs. You lie. Have you seen the new Jurassic World game? Um, Matt has actually played it. He's such a freak with that. Um, so anyway, guys, let's get recording and make some more Pokemon Q Charm, what do you say? Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for some more Pokemon Platinum Q Charm, and today we are going to be looking for some very rare shiny Pokemon, like Bidoof. No. We've already been through here in the Eternal Force, but we're coming back. As you can see, I am filming my screen in an old school fashion. This is because I need to play on a DS that has a Game Boy Advance insert into it. And uh, uh, right now, my only DS that does this is my, uh, it's actually Kim's. Very old one. Shoot, where do I find a big enough patch to, ah, uh, here we go, perfect. I'm gonna try and poke a ray. Oh my god, how am I gonna poke a radar like this? Um, 
Uh, you know, I could just run around. Uh, but I don't know. So basically, we're gonna be looking for some 8% shinies. These suckers are rare. Um, uh, so that tells me what we gotta do. Oh, I don't wanna do it. But I'm gonna bag and I'm gonna put some repels on. We're gonna try and get these the hard way. Um, so we're looking today for a new GBA insert rare of Weedle and Kakuna. If we can get two Kakunas, we can evolve one into a Beedrill, which would be sweet. Finish a whole evolutionary line from the original Kanto game. It's gonna be awesome. Um, how, how old is the DS with the game card thing? Cause I have that since I was in fifth grade. Oh, the original DS does have a Game Boy Advance insert. Um, I'm playing uh, on stream right now. That's why I'm not, I'm not talking to myself here. Um, the original one does. And then like, I think the DS Lite does. And then most of the models after that didn't. Um, the 3DS all models uh, did not. So that stinks. Um, but uh, still, this way, and it's gonna be so hard to see. Um, I'm gonna take that nearby one. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna try and find this uh, shiny Weedle. It's not gonna be easy. We're gonna find a lot of shinies that used to be really rare and hard to get for us, but it's gonna be tough. It's okay that I talk to myself. I talk to myself all the time anyway. You know, like, here, my original videos, even when nobody was watching me, which is kinda not too far away from what I'm doing right now, um, I would basically just talk to myself, assuming there are people there. Cause that's what I did when I would sit home alone with no friends playing video games growing up. Just talk to myself and trying to entertain myself. Cause I'm just a very boring individual. Yeah. I say that, but uh, you guys are here anyway. So maybe I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. But um, I beat myself up, so that's my job. So anyway, um, I think both of these are gonna be 8% fines. I don't know if they share the 8% and it's actually something less than that, like four and four. Uh, I'm gonna find out here by opening up a link to Eterna Forest. Uh, hey, Silkoon, don't want you. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to find this. Uh, there we go. Oh gosh, it's four, they share it. This is gonna be horrible. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Uh, why are we still here? Just to suffer? <laughs> yes, actually. Battery is run dry. You need to walk seven steps. All right, I'm just gonna take nearby ones when that happens. We basically are just trying to get a chain started that has the Pokemon we want. And we don't care if they're shiny Baneeries or what. We are just looking for the bugs. Just the bugs. GBA insertion in here in Platinum, and it looks like we're coming back, by the way. Will yield uh, with Leaf Green, which is what we have at the moment. Weedle and Kakuna. If we come back with Fire Red, we will find Caterpie Metapod. You probably would have expected that one. If we come back with Emerald, we will find Pinecos. If we come back with Ruby, Sea Dots. Uh, the Pineco Dot will be a lot easier. Oh my god, Weedle! Weedle! Yes, okay, this is good. We can keep this chain going. Unfortunately, it's not Kakuna, but that's okay. Um, actually, they're on level 13. What level does, uh, what level do you get Beedrill? I totally forget. Uh, what level do you get Beedrill? 10, yeah, okay. Uh, we can catch two shiny Weedles. And, um, then I only need one Kakuna. So that's probably for the best, okay. Slots, murder it. It's gotta die, now I have to chain. Which means I'm gonna be coming down low. Down low in the underground. So I can actually see the proper angle of my game because I'm filming it and this camera's taken over. Um, there it is. Uh, bep, 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 bep. I couldn't see if it was it or not because obviously I can't even see my bottom screen. Do we have a Weedle? Normal Weedle, but it's a Weedle. Okay, we continue. Okay, this is good. Never seen someone so excited for a Weedle. This is gonna be the sparkliest of all Weedles. My favoriteest of all the Weedles. The best kind of Pokemon. The sparkly kinds. You know, you call me old, but back in Gen 2, we called them Shining Pokemon. Uh, that I won't take. Sorry, not good enough. Oh God. How about here? 
Uh, yes, that was a good one. I think. Yes, that was a Weedle. Okay, thank God. Please sparkle. Please sparkle. Yes, shiny Weedle! I couldn't see it at this angle. It, it like... Oh, yeah, that's shiny. At this angle, looking down, it looks identical. So, I couldn't see it. You guys could, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Okay, so. Um, with a shiny Weedle, I'm really not worried about catching this guy. So, let's just throw a Pokeball. And we're gonna try and continue this. Yeah! We already got an... It's a 4% shiny Weedle. Oh, crap! Almost had it. Wheel you string shot. The speed fell. Don't care, bag. Fuka ball. Okay. Looks like the swarms in here are going to be slack odds. Very cool. I'm excited for swarms. But that we're going to do on my capture card. As of now, as you guys know, GBA inserts, I have to film it old school. There's no other way to do these episodes. Yeah, Weedle's data was added to the Pokedex. The Hairy Bug Pokemon. It eats its weight in leaves every day. It fends off attackers with the needle on its head. <laughs> Ew. Interesting. Give a nickname to the Caught Weedle. Yes. What do we got, guys? Uh, Glitter Bug. I like Glitter Bug. Forgot to mention I have Shiny Sue Alex. I have Alolan Meowth, Dewpiter, and Grubbin. Oh, sweet. Um, I don't know if I could do it today because I'd have to, like, this obviously isn't my capture card, so I can't play a 3DS game. Um, but, uh, we will do another stream soon where we can do that kind of stuff. Well, I might do another crystal stream and I can jump over in trades. Uh, Hamster, my 3DS is broken. It turns on for six seconds and clicks off. Um, can't play any of my Pokemon games. Um, it's a problem with the power supply. If you have it plugged into the wall directly and you try playing it, does it still do that? Because then it's your internal power. Um, Glitterbug? You guys like Glitterbug? I like Glitterbug. I'll make it one word, because it won't fit. Glitterbug was transferred to box one of Baby's PC. Pay attention. We're going to get another one really quick. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, thank God. And normal Weedle. It's fine. I'm getting a second one. No, we have to get Kakuna as Kakuna. I'm not getting a third. I was just thinking. Huh. No, that's cheating. Psybeam. Bam. Uh, how old am I? I am 26. 26. I'm not that old. Old enough to have played every single Pokemon game as they came out. There's that. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Also, a uh, Weedle. Please sparkle, little guy. Um, phones are going off. Uh, could have been an accident. I don't know what that call was about. I'm just gonna have to hang up on it. I'm assuming she bot dialed me. Or I'll just have her text me. That was Kim, by the way. What? Streaming. Can't. Now, uh, side beam. Kill it and kill it dead. I'm gonna figure out what, whatever Kim wanted. I'm supposed to see a movie later, and I'm trying to do this. Sorry. Oh, uh, ooh, um, that looks dangerous, but I'm gonna try it anyway. All right, cool, we got another Weedle. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try some dangerous ones because we still need, um, Kakuna. A shiny, too shiny of some one of them, so. I'll be a little risky on this one because I got a feeling it's gonna happen any way. Uh, actually, uh, she made me a voicemail. That's strange. Something might be wrong here. Um... I'll check that in like a minute. I don't know what the deal is. I still texted her. Hope, hopefully she tells me what's going on. Oh man, it's getting hot in here again. Whew. I always get super hot when I have so many things running right now. Like I said, I, I am like a meatball and a bowl of spaghetti. Talking about how many cables are around me. Got another Weedle. Come on. Dag nabbit. Come on, man. Uh, oh man, it doesn't even work when it's plugged into the wall. Yeah, there's something wrong with the internal battery in that thing. I don't know how that happened though. Side beam. You're gonna have to, uh, the manufacturers, sometimes they take those back. All right, slots, come on. Bring us a shiny Weedle. Oh, that's dangerous over there. But that's a winner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
Please! Oh no, I broke! Oh crap, alright. Never mind, we're going back to this. And try and find ourselves. I, man, I thought for sure that was a winner. Wonder why it wasn't. Shoot. Uh, let's reset. Bam. Batteries are dry. Walk three steps. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We gotta find ourselves the shiny Kakuna now. And it may take a while, so... I guess I'm gonna have to see you guys when we get lucky. Plus, yeah, catch two Kakunas. Um... Uh, I, we're going to pick you up. Oh my god, she is not reading my messages. Um... I am streaming! <laughs> They're going to a place that I do not recognize in the Ohio area, uh, Cincinnati area, that uh, you guys may or may not find me at if you bomb rushed. Uh, six, bam. Here we go, that'll work. Answer the voicemail? Oh, well she texted me finally, so I got it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch two. This might be the issue with my old pink DS. I actually dropped the on gravel and my arm was broken. So it came loose to the point where it won't stay on regardless. Eww. That stinks. That stinks. Convinced one of my friends that uh, has a new Pokemon that Barnacle was a legendary. You know, Binnacle? She says, okay, never mind. I'd like your leftovers! That's the kind of person I am. I just stay at home, eat the leftovers. That's all I do. Yummy, yummy. Okay, come on. Kakuna, I know you're out here, bud. Five encounters, or five steps. Spunk. Man, it is burning up in here. In fact, here, I'm gonna open his door. some air. It's cooler out there, but man, is it hot in here. I'm melting. Freaking melting. Uh, so are you recovering 1 16th of your max HP every minute? <laughs> recovering? More like I'm taking. Oh, it's so painful. Um. Oh, right. Summer for you. Yes. Like, Melty hot summer for me. Hate. Hate. It's crazy how that um, little extra distance causes a season of like the axis. It's so funky. But oh man, it's 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 melty. Uh, scrub, I'd rather not. <laughs> um, melting as well because my iPad heating my game too much. Oh, bam. I just want a Kakuna. Kakuna Rattata. Did we get Nakata? No, we didn't get Nakata. We didn't get Nakata. Where did Nakata come from? See the swarm? Oh no, he's a Poker Radar exclusive. Oh, okay. We're doing this. We just found Nakata. We need uh, two of them. One evolves into both, and then one stays as Nikata. I totally forgot about you in here. Psybeam. Bam. We're trying this now. Awesome. Okay, come on now, slots. You can do this. Uh, that looks semi-dangerous, but I'm gonna try it. Oh god, my repel went off in the, sp in the space. Don't do this, game. It broke on one! Because my repel went off in the space. Are you kidding me? Oh. Dang it. Wow. Whatever. Well, crap. Never mind. Um. I guess we're looking for Kakuna again. Let's try this another, another way. That evil repel. That was horrible. It was so unlucky, I know. God. We'll get him. We'll get him. You know, it's funny when people watch these back and they're like, 
that was not on the thumbnail. He's not catching that shiny. <laughs> and then he watched me like, oh, we're gonna get this today. I'm so excited. And then it like, I screw something up. You need to walk two steps. One, two, three, a three, that's pretty good. Uh, rip shiny luck 2018. Yep, Kakuna Matata. Uh, I've continued chains even though my repel. Yeah, me too. Normally they continue. That one didn't. Will the Shedinja be shiny? Yeah. I've done this before. Um, I actually, in here, in a turtle forest, have chained a uh, shiny Ninkata. Uh, and got, uh, I think two. I still use that uh, Ninjask. It's quite good. Silkud, hey buddy. Don't care. I don't want none of your nonsense. Derp. Okay. Sometimes people just gotta say what they think. Speak their mind. Just truly uh, speak from the soul. And what Cosmic Creator's soul says, let it be known, it is derp. All caps. Uh, Silcoon wants to be caught. I know, right? Sometimes the mind speaks for itself and one does not know why it tells you to say certain things in all caps. Is that so, Cosmic Creator? Really, watch the all caps. That's, that's why he got hidden there. Alrighty. Ninkata, let's try this again. Fight uh, with a Psybeam. Bam. Ninkata's pretty rare to- actually he's not, he's a 12% chance. In fact, it's more likely that we found- Oh crap. Oh god. That is an Ninkata, but uh, we're on the edge now, this is dangerous. Come on, give me them sparkly girls! I need them sparkly girls! My favorite kind, the kind that sparkle. Kim takes a bath in glitter every night, so I'm attracted to her. The sparkly kind! <laughs> That's not true. That's totally not true. <laughs> uh. Though she's joked about uh, saying that um, she's worried that if we have a kid and its skin's not like lime green, I'm gonna be like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just trying to desperately take the fours. Pure lucky males. I'm finding a lot of males. Well, this just got weird. <laughs> Ninkata's back. Do you like Mario Tennis Aces? Nah, I'm not gonna play that. If so, are you gonna get it? No, nah, I don't care. I mean, I mean, I've played Mario Tennis before. The GameCube one. It was pretty fun. I enjoyed it, but... I'm not, like, gonna buy it again. There's so many other games that are knocking it out of the park right now that I'd rather play. And, uh... Mario Tennis is just not something that I'm, like really itching to play. It's not really grabbing me at all. Um, if anything, it just makes me want to go outside and actually play tennis. Because I find that more fun than the game. Oh my god, where are the fours landing? God, no! Cosmic Creator, please! You cannot use all caps. Or, uh, ask for, uh, friend codes. Sorry. I do have, um, my friend code listed on, um, uh, what is it called? My about page, but you only get to add a hundred people. And obviously, with someone like me, that adds up very, very, very quickly. Alright, finally. Um, oh, man, my nose. Uh, will you play Gale of Darkness? I may, um, I, I've, uh, never played it before. I also don't own it, so... That means I'm legally not allowed to stream it or anything with you guys. So if I got my hands on a copy, sure, I'd play it. But, um, I might even randomize it. But, uh, still, I've, I've never played it, so... It's not really fair for me to do that. Uh, save your caps for bottles. My heart gold person. You and me the same, Twilight Luma. You and me. Um, mm. Play tennis dressed up as Mario character and reenact the game. No, that's going way too far. I'm saying, like, playing something like Mario Tennis or Mario Golf makes me just want to go out and actually play the darn sport. Uh... Do you, 
Uh, wait, what? Antoine, that is not cool. Uh, you should, it's just a fun B as Coliseum. Oh, just as fun as Coliseum with more Pokemon you can use. Yeah, Coliseum didn't have too many you can fight with. Kind of a shame. Um, Heart Gold was your first Pokemon game. My first was Pokemon Blue. I've been playing forever. Um, played Pokemon Red after that. Um, next was Gold. Um, I don't think I played both of that, Jen. I just played the crap out of Gold. Um, after that, played Ruby. Um, then I played Heart Gold. I was very turned off by uh, Diamond and Pearl at the time. There's um, so a period where I had to wait before I ever played that. Got back into it and got excited again with Gen 5. And then basically been a maniac ever since. Mostly because of Heart Gold Soul Silver. That was when I was like really starting to plan stuff out and make strategies instead of just going, hey, I like this Pokemon, I wanna play with them. For crying out loud, why are we not getting any shinies? Um, oh my gosh, why? Um, old school for me is Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the new school is Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Oh, that new, yeah, well it's definitely new stuff, but it's kind of garbage. <laughs> Oh, new stuff for me? I would still consider 4th gen new. Let me get rid of him. Man, my nose is getting super itchy again. Uh, it's fine, you know where my Twitter is. Uh, yes. Whoa, did our audio just double? Did you guys hear that? Did the audio just get twice as loud? Is that just me? What just, what the heck? Did anyone hear that? I want to get a comment to confirm that. Uh, my OG is blue and old school fan is gold. Yes. There you go, Bonnie. There you go. Did the... You didn't hear. So the audio didn't change? My headphones just doubled. I did... A popping sound happened. I heard it too. So is, it, is it too loud? It went low than normal for a second. Okay. Oh God. I totally screwed that up. Uh, it's fine now, audio didn't change. You say so, I mean, in my headphones I hear it twice as loud now and it kinda hurts. Uh, no. Uh, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon aren't great games. They're not. But Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon allows you to hunt so many legendaries. It does, but it makes their odds, I don't know. I, there's something about it that it's still, it's like a great game for the shiny hunter who has like no morals. <laughs> um, that's a 3-3 down there. Gosh, we are not getting anything good. The whole episode is just this fast time warp. Well, no, I'm, I came back in at one point to talk about the Ninkata, so... Oh my gosh! Ugh! My nose. Um... People saying they're uh, not very fun when he starts Star Wars over with the tiniest thing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god, why? I cannot get a four. A good four. Oh my gosh, why? This is horrible. Uh, yes, the dungeon games are a great pastime. Oh my god, we're not getting fours. I'm getting so angry. I'm b burning through my repels. It just popped again. Oh no. Oh, cool. Now is it too loud? What the heck is wrong with my audio? I'm gonna try and fix this. What the heck? It's just a piece of junk. It's just a piece of... It's getting so weird. I'm not even 
even touching it! <laughs> what is it doing? Now. Nice and secure, right? This DS is old. <laughs> the game audio is getting quiet. I think it's like sending, like, it's louder on one to the other. Is the game too loud now? Okay, the pop, I know, I fixed the popping. It's, that's it coming in and out of the, uh, the jack. But, uh, is the audio okay now? What is happening? They can't hear the game. Now the game's getting loud and quiet. At the same time. Shiny Nakata! Yes, Shiny Nakata! Oh god. Our audio is messing up big time. I, I don't know what's happening. It's Team Rocket! <laughs> the audio is going crazy. Yeah, I... I I will take a photo later to show you all the wires that are in front of me. Because that's why this is happening. What am I touching to cause the popping? Mine kind of sucks. Maybe this isn't it all the way. It's really quiet. That can't be. The audio is drunk. How can the game be quiet? It's so loud in my ears. Ah, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. That is super weird. Pokeballs. Um, Ninkata, you're not a hard catch, are you? Uh, Ninkata, capture rate 255. It is a piece of cake. Don't worry about it. We got a shiny Ninkata. Yes. The audio is still quiet. Darn it. I, I can't... I can't buff it any higher than that. I don't know what's what it's doing. I have no idea. I'm gonna try and fix it. So sorry about that. I hear it. You guys don't seem to. So give me a minute. While we nickname this sucker, we're gonna try and fix the audio. Anyway, the trainee Pokemon. Really? It grows underground, sensing its surroundings using antenna instead of its virtually blind eyes. Okay. Interesting. K-pop, name it Poppy, audio pop. Man, everyone's got to name this based on how my, my equipment screws up. But anyway, give a nickname to the Kata, yes. I'm trying. Like, I don't know what to do. Here, um, let me try this. I'm just going to do something dangerous. Took the audio off. Okay. Audio's off. Uh, you know what we could do? Um, if I say screw that entirely, I mean, they're not going to sound good. I'm sorry, you still hear that. Um, party crashed maybe? Uh, Two-Face because of the two evolutions? It's kind of cool. I was thinking if I replug this in. Mine jiggles here. You guys are in a good one. I don't know why. Mine, my, it's my splitter here. I got an audio splitter. And it's supposed to plug right into this bad boy. Come on. Still quiet? Why is it quiet? It shouldn't be quiet. Hope you like Jurassic World has some pretty tense moments. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited. Uh, Jingles? Uh, Poppy sounds pretty good. Okay, you have to call it Jiggles now. Why Jiggles? Um, just need a Twitch name. How's it going over there? I see you over there. I'm just trying to fix my audio, talking to people on YouTube. I see both chats, though. I don't know what's the deal. Um, maybe the audio cord age is messing up? Can you guys hear it okay now? Better? I need more people to tell... A little quiet, but I can hear it. Um... Here, uh, I really don't want to do this, but, um, I'm going to give it a gain. Oh, I really don't want to do that. Wow, is it not going to let me? It's a new program. Oh my god, why can't I give it gain? Gain, dang it.
Is that better? It's loud as crap. I'm gonna keep it like on my uh, head like this if that's better. Is this okay? Is, th is this good right here? I wanna make sure we get this fixed. You can hear the audio just fine, even better. That's a lot better, okay, cool. I'll just take them off because I can still hear it on the ground. All right, so what am I naming this thing? What What is it? Um, I need a name now. Uh, all right, thanks guys. Thanks for taking the time to help me fix that. Split? Ooh. I like split. We'll have another one coming in a minute anyway, so that's okay. Let me try and recenter. I can't really see the screen. Split was transferred to box one in baby's PC. Let's continue here. Uh, no, that was horrible. No! You never step up. You never. That's rule number one, Alex. You never step up. Oh, man. Well. It's all right, we'll have plenty of other opportunities to try and find um, Nincata out here, whatever. We need to try and find Kakuna, remember? Kakuna. Oh. But apparently it's just not working out very well. So uh, I guess I'm gonna keep doing this some more until I can find us a Kakuna who we're, who we're actually out here for. So give me a minute. And I will see you guys when we get lucky. Now we're looking for a like a four a four percent shiny Kakuna. And we need two of them? Oh god. Oh! Yeah, she didn't text me back. She just sent me that voicemail, which I should probably listen to. But she knew I was doing this. I don't know. Like, when she's out with her friend, she completely forgets everything. Oh, it's only two seconds. Yeah, that's... Thanks for the butt dial, Kim. I know you're out there. Oh, dear. Ugh. Trying to move. Oh, um... Just want to say, I just saw it on here. Uh, thank you so much to, uh... Lachlan Shuri. Uh, you just sent a donation over PayPal. Thank you so much. That those that stuff helps out. Um, it's gonna help us afford to get uh, some of the new Nintendo Switch games, so I can play those. Thank you so much. Uh, batteries run dry. I need to walk 13. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are you, Kakuna? Is there like a repel trick thing I can do? Maybe. I doubt it. It's a level 12. No, I I, I mean everything else in here is like level 12 too. Um, well, is this the cute charm game? Are you making it easier to find certain Pokemon or are you just Poke Radaring? Um, uh, this is actually Pokemon Cute Charm, and I have to play it on uh, a different DS than my capture card because these are GBA Insert game Pokemon, and um, they are pretty rare, and you can only find them like this. So, Hopefully we find one. Man, my nose is driving me crazy today. Probably because it's so hot in here. Maybe it's our odds too. I have no idea. We'll keep trying though. At least I got the audio working. It's like, whoa. This touchscreen is super small. I don't know how people played on these things. My original DS, like same deal. I don't know how I used to do it. I guess I had smaller hands back then. Oh, come on! Step up. Well, need a Kakuna. And we're gonna be back in here multiple times later. At least you get the option to get Weedle in this game. Because uh, in um, uh, Diamond and Pearl, you only get Metapod and Kakuna for the two inserts. You don't get uh, Caterpies or Weedles, which is pretty cool. I like that. Kim is watching us, observing our every move. She will find us. No, she's definitely out with her friend right now. She won't care. I rather noticed how small it was. Thrill now as well. What? Um, I'm shiny hunting for an Elgo, an Ultra Moon. 
Good luck, Frazier. Hopefully you get your, uh, your shiny soon. I'm gonna be trying to find the stinking Kakuna. Didn't think he'd be a problem, but this is turning into a big episode. Um, in fact, I'm not sure how long it really is. That always concerns me. And this new program, like, the one thing that really pisses me off about it is it doesn't tell me how long I've been recording. I have to go take a shower now. Uh, might not be back. Uh, see ya. All right. Have fun with that. I'll, I'll see if I, hopefully I get a shiny before then. Before you're back. Do you think you will be able to soft reset for shiny starters and let's go? I don't really want to. Um, I've got shinies of all the starters anyway. I really don't want to. Or are you asking, do you think we will be able to? Okay. I read your question wrong. You're asking if I wanted to. Personally, I don't. But, um, I think you will. Man, that Kakuna is not going to appear as easily. No. It's a four. Shiny Kakuna! Shiny Kakuna! Oh my god, I was just saying it won't even... Oh my god, it's so cool! Oh my god, 4% Shiny Kakuna! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Bag, um, we gotta catch this now. Pokeballs, go! Yes! Woohoo! We were just given up hope. Popped immediately, that's not good. Uh, Kakuna, what is your capture rate? Kakuna used Harden, not surprised. It's got 120 capture rate, just keep throwing Pokeballs. I got 70, I'm okay. I know, I was like in the middle of the sentence. Hey, Kakuna won't appear very easily. Shiny Kakuna! <laughs> oh, it looks so cool, and it's in a poker radar, which means I can keep going and get more. And all we gotta do is level it up once. B drill. Done. And we gotta do that today. Uh, unfortunately, we got a, uh, a, a, um, one of the Nakatas out today, too, which is pretty cool. Um, to get, a uh, Ninjask, however, darn it. Uh, to get a Ninjask, however, um, I'm gonna need to come back here anyway, and like I mentioned, with Fire Red, Emerald, and Ruby, we're gonna be hunting in here a lot, so I am not making Ninkata a priority at the moment. Plus, there's also gonna be Swarms in here, uh, which I think is Slack Off, one. Okay, um, Kakuna, you're not that bad. Come on, come on. Kakuna used Harden, Defense Rose. Um, I mean, I assume that's all it has, but this shouldn't be this difficult. Oh, one. All right, um, I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. It's just using Harden anyway, switch Pokemon. Toffee, this is all you. Oh, I don't have scissor back. I needed scissor. Shoot. Oh well, Kakuni is hard in defense rose. Toffee, thunder wave us, please. Thanks, Toffee, thanks, Toffee. Defense will not go higher, bag. All right, you gotta stay in this one, Ralph. I've thrown a lot of Pokeballs at you. Oh my gosh, this Kakuna is so stubborn. Pokemon broke free, Kakuna used Harden. Still won't go higher. It's not even stopping from paralysis. Not that it matters, but... Oh man, I feel stupid, I put Scissor back. That's my false swiper. One, two, three. Thank you for crying out loud, that shouldn't have been that tough. All right, we need one more. One more, and we can evolve this thing. Kakuna's down, it was added to the Pokedex. Yes, the Cocoon Pokemon, just in case you didn't know where that name came from. While awaiting evolution, it hides from predators under leaves and in nooks of branches. Give a nickname to the con Kakuna. Yes. Oh, you need to name it Matata? I don't need to. Oh, Brandos. Uh, people are saying Honey. I got another one on Matata. Uh, Kahuna? Kahuna the Kakuna? Kahuna's pretty good. But what if it becomes, um, Beedrill? Like, you guys aren't, like, you don't know if it becomes Beedrill. Good luck on your shiny uh, Sudowoodo hunt, uh, your Soul Silver Sudowoodo hunt there. Um, uh, Chris, not. Tris? Uh, Honey works. I think we have one named Honey. A lot of people are asking for Honey. All right, gosh, the nose is so bad. All right, 
Honey was transferred to box one at Bebe's PC. Here we go. We got another one coming up. I hope to God, please tell me. I am going to desperately hold on to this chain. Because we need one more. Nope, no good. In fact, that blocked me off. Come on. Sorry, I gotta be so low, but I cannot see the screen any other way. That one's perfect. It's a Kakuna. Okay, that's a Kakuna. Is this one shiny? <gasps> shiny Kakuna's back to back! Yes, we did it! We just need to catch it. Oh my gosh, yes, that's so good! Oh, whoo! That was lucky. That was freaking lucky. Switch Pokemon to Toffee now that I know it's safe. Oh man, and uh, for now, Leaf Green wise, we're done with the turn of forest. Next episode, we're gonna be moving on from here out of this environment. We got some more Pokemon to catch for uh, Leaf Green. Uh, we're going to the Wayward Cave as well as Route 228 in order to find Sand Shrew and Sand Slash. Um, if we have time after that, we're gonna move on to try and capture two Vulpix and turn one of them into a Ninetales. So that's what's coming up in terms of our Leaf Green GBA inserts. After that, we've got Fire Red. So um, we'll see how that goes. But for now, let's paralyze this thing and try and capture it. Uh, Kakuna used Harden. Plus, we got to evolve this bad boy. Whoa, that's a heal ball. No thanks. No, 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 no. Back up. Just poke balls. Whew, I'm already getting nicknames. You guys are assuming I'm going to be able to capture this Pokemon in this very difficult battle. It is popping out. Like, I, I don't understand. 120 is not that bad. I'm surprised. He's even paralyzed. He's only level 12, but it's full HP, and I'm not weakening it, so... My fault. One. Gosh, man, this is bad. Oh, man. All right. Oh, shoot. You know, um... The next, um... The next epi... Oh, Shedskin got rid of that. I just realized for the next episode, um, going to the caves for Sandshrew Sandslash, that's actually going to be really hard because I'm not allowed to chain in there. Chaining makes this a lot easier because I basically chain till I get the Pokemon I want found and then I can find it over and over and over again. And uh, that's how we just found this Kakuna. But we only need one Sandshrew and one Sandslash. Vulpix, we're going to need a couple others. Darn it, Kakuna. I gotta switch for something else. Well, I mean, like, Pokeball-wise. This one's being annoying. Um, I don't have that many Great Balls. Um, Nest Ball, that's really overkill. Like, I can't believe we're not catching it. Here, I'm gonna throw a Great Ball. This is this is overkill, but it's, it's popping out of everything for some reason. One. Oh my god, why? Come on! Kakuna used Harden. Defense won't go higher. Come on now. Another Great Ball. After this, I'm going back to Pokeballs. This is a waste. This is a waste. What the heck? Why won't it capture? Alright, fine. I will throw one. I tell you one Ultra Ball. One. I should have thrown a Net Ball. Those are cheaper. One. Two, three. Oh my gosh, this thing is evil. Yeah, salty, shiny much. This thing is stubborn. You got that right. It does not want to be captured. All right, you know what? Um, I've got net balls. Just catch the darn thing. We have hard Pokemon to capture coming later. Like, this is not a difficult one. I don't know why this one's being so hard. Yeah, it's capture rate is 120, it's not 12. <laughs> yeah, it was behaving like it was off by a factor of 10. Yeah, <laughs> Master Ball it. <laughs> Give a nickname to the Cod Kakuna. Yes. All right, what, what did you guys uh, want? It did not, no, it did not want to be caught. Oh, gosh, that was awful. But we're done though, we got it. We just gotta, we just got to evolve. Uh, maybe this one, I'm not sure. Name it maybe in case it turns into the bee drill. Why? Oh, maybe. Matata? Uh, but if it's bee drill, you don't know that. Put her in your party. She's a fighter. Pollen? I like pollen. Pollen's nice. P 
Holland was transferred to box one in Bebe's PC. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Here. Just giving it a chance. Random chance? Nope, I broke it. Alright, I kind of did that on purpose. Um, just in case it was like another shiny bee drill or, uh, or, uh, Kakuna. I don't know if any of you guys would have really wanted one, but... Oh, man. Alright. Let's get out of here. Pokemon. Uh, Pelagard. We're gonna fly... We're gonna fly somewhere really dangerous. How about way up here? This way I can, um, put it, like, in the front of the party. Or, not in the front of the party. Um... Well, that works. So we can basically just immediately turn this into a bee drill. Um, let's go take a look at the two of them. Figure out which one is gonna be the bee drill, though it really doesn't matter to me. It's just for you guys for when they trade, but even still, that doesn't matter. Summary, let's take a look at our new shiny finds. Actually, let's start up here with Glitterbug. We cannot forget about um, our extra shinies. Glitterbug is serious and often dozes off. It has the ability Shield Dust. Moving on from here, we have Split. We're gonna have to remember Split. Split is a jolly, highly persistent. Is that good for like Ninjask and Shininja? I think Jolly's pretty good for them. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Compound Eyes is its ability. Moving on from here, we have Honey, who is lax and often dozes off. Uh, it has the ability Shed Skin. Moving down from here, we have Serious Good Endurance Shed Skin as well. Um, I don't know which of those is actually the better one, but Pollen's the fighter. Maybe, maybe Pollen ought to be the, uh, the bee drill. Just because of how freaking difficult it was to capture. Uh, I'm gonna switch it off of Snorlax, who really we don't need to be carrying anymore. My bad. Let's switch for Scissor. That's what this was for. Uh, except I can't hold Scissor at the moment. I want to hold this bee drill, Kakuna, Bee Kuna, who goes, uh, I think here, and um, Weedle, I'll put Nankata away later. I think you go here, because they come after uh, the Caterpie line, which is here. Um, you guys are saying Evolve Pollen. Uh, okay, good, because Pollen's the one I got in my party right now. I was going to say, hold, hold on, what? Yeah, that's correct. Whew, Jolly would be great for a physical ninjask. Yeah, actually, it's um, what my ninjask uh, does do. So that w that would be uh, that would be pretty good. Let's switch Pokemon around here. I want to make sure that Pollen is now in the front of the party, and I'm just gonna switch out for slots or somebody um, to save it. Get out of the way! God, the stupid signs take forever to load. And um, we're gonna <laughs> repels effect. Well, I guess that's good. And we're gonna kill whatever this is and get ourselves a bee drill man this episode, right? It's just a Volby, but it's a level 40 freaking 9, which is all that matters. Pollen, you can do this by yourself. You're a fighter. You can, you're a fighter. Actually, you know, just in case, I'm gonna switch just to make sure you're safe. Just because, you know, I don't think Six Hardened will beat that Volby, but I could be wrong. Yes, save my game. I'll definitely save after we get this evolution down. All right, slots, um, let's uh, try attack it. Bam. I got my animations turned off just because it takes way too long in this game. Done, Vol beats down. Pollen gained 511. Is that not enough? That was not enough. My gosh. Wow, that was bad. Um, Illumis, here we go. We're gonna fight both of them. Pollen, how far are you? Are you serious? It was that close. Pollen, I know you can take this. I know you can. I know, I, I'm not doubting you, Pollen. I'm just switching just to make sure, because I'm nervous for your safety. I'm a good parent. That's what I do. I, I watch my Pokemon. Helping hand. Well, that healed me up. Uh, dry attack. Helping hand again. You better keep clapping your hands and, you know, making sure that your friends are here to help you. Are you dead? Thank you. Nice and dead, just how I like them. There you go, Pollen, level 14. Slots gain, good amount, but that is all we need, and this is gonna look garbage, but whatever, at least we can see it. What? Pollen is evolving! Whew. We're done with the turn of forest with Leaf Green. And we today got an entire evolutionary line that 
is worth celebrating. That is awesome. Congratulations, your pollen evolved into Beedrill. Sweet. Um, just so I can sneak my way out of here. Let's take a look at our new Beedrill before we end this episode. Summary. Man, that is so cool. That is so cool. It almost leveled up again. Um, oh man. And it only knows Harden. Yo, Pollen. Pollen will win. Beautiful, beautiful Beedrill. I'm sure it's gonna win all the battles just with Harden. It doesn't need anything else. It don't need a new attack. Don't need a man. But either way, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Q Charm. For you. And of course, let's stream, live stream, guys. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking to the recording, which is over now. Um. So yeah, save. You're right. Uh. So we're gonna be going to um. Mm, tsunami whale. I'm checking my drop frames. It's still at zero. So that is just you and your internet. Um. I think we're going to Wayward Cave next. Which is that that cave in the beginning? Oh my nose. Oh. Uh, yeah, Loomis is only, like, one of four or five Pokemon that start with the letter I already. Uh, like, Ivysaur is Kanto, uh, there was a Johto, Igglybuff, um, whatever. Why does this matter? Um, Iron Defense, Beedrill. Bebe's PC, here we go. Let's just move Pokemon around and put them where they belong. First off, um, let's switch out Strike for the Beedrill. Pollen goes here. Uh, when did you start streaming? I just got here, what did I miss? You missed like two hours of Pokemon Platinum Q-Chum. We're doing GBA insertion, which is why you can see what I'm uh, filming against. Um, I'm gonna put Ninkata away. Does anybody know where Ninkata goes in the dex number? I really have no idea. Oh, I have so many empty spots here. I have no idea. Um, Hmm. Does anybody know that? That sounds like a no. I'm just gonna click on it over here. I'll figure it out. Um, Nikana's number 290. It goes next to Slack King. I don't have them either. Um, you know, mess this morning, huh? So, wait, 290. If it's 290, who else is that around? That's around, uh, who else do we have here? Uh, Shroomish? Masquerade? No. Surskits? No. Uh. Curly Ralts? Okay, that's. So, De Gardevoir. Surskit Masquerade? I don't know if they're in this game. Shroomish, Breloom, Slackoth? Oh gosh, I don't know who all's in here. I'm gonna have to sleep now. Bonnie, you say that? And it's, uh, going on 2 p.m. here. <laughs> um. Maybe you should just live, live on this side of the world. You ever thought of that? You should come over here! Uh, nice seeing you stream again, Alex. Hope we catch another soon. Thanks, Bonnie. Glad to have you join us. Just go to the nearest number that is 290 and then count down. The th I mean, I'm doing that, but the problem is I don't know um, who else you could get in this game. I don't know if Surskit Masquerade. Oh, my boxes. Naming the boxes wouldn't matter. Um, gosh, where is the Craigasm emoji? See a little Chikorita with red leaves like autumn on my screen. It's finally time for a s Oh, nice! Congratulations! Oh, it's so cool. Got the shiny. Awesome! Everyone's getting their shinies now. Can you get this guy in platinum? You can. Okay, so Surskit Masquerade go there. Which means that, um... Who is it? Slackoth? No, it's like Shroomish. Gosh, is this Shroomish Breloom? I counted it out earlier, but I like there's no way to tell until I get all of these. Yep, Great Marsh Daily Binoculars, Shroomish Breloom, and then the Slacking line. I can only assume that um, after all of them is Ninja Ninkata. That's my guess. Oh, the Heartbreaker! I want to do a Q Charm playthrough, but worried. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. That helps out for new games. Um, if you're worried about what do you mean worried I mean um, I do uh, based on donations I do make them myself because a lot of people say it's like risky and tough to do tough to do yep he goes right here so um, I do that service just for you guys just from popular demand you guys asked for it um, 
Alright, so with everybody here, I do want to heal somebody off in my party. Man, my nose is so itchy today. Here we go, back. Everyone's back in place. Oh, I wanted to, like, go, I want to go, like, try and, I don't know if blowing my nose or washing my face or something's going to help out, but, ugh. Ugh. It's really hot and dusty, I think is what it, what it is. Oh, man. It's so bad. It's just itchy. Okay, Sand Shrew, you're going to be our first target. Where are we going? Wayward Cave, you say. Where is that? Is that the cave in the beginning? Uh... Platinum. It's going to be 8% in the Wayward Cave. Um, same on both floors, I believe. Okay, south. Uh, route 206. We're going to fly. Can't get a shiny po ponytail in a quest despite having had like 150 by now. Oh, well, what's your shiny odds in quest? That's ridiculous. Um, well, I mean, obviously, but there is a way to... Um, Oh, yeah, you can do it on an emulator, but, I mean, I don't know why you would want to. Or at least you met the three. You can do any of them, I think. I mean, I don't ha do emulators unless I have to for a randomizer. Um, 206? Oh, I think I know where this is. It's this... Wait. Where's this cave? Wait, the south exit's 206. Where's Wayward Cave? Is it the little cave up I don't know your no if your nose is itching maybe it's an allergy it's inhale some tea oh yeah it's definitely an allergy I just don't know what it is uh it's mostly I mean it's mostly because I lost my soul silver game oh man that stinks I'd get another one just get another one um Alex I know in the past you were worried about whether or not you could transfer shaman or dark right if you hunted them i been guaranteed you can't. You can, but only if you hunt them in platinum. No, I've been told even in platinum you can't. Like, if they're shiny, they won't go. If they're not shiny, then you can transfer them. Which is really stupid. Um, so, I really don't know where this cave is. I thought it was to the left of Orberg, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, Wayward Cave is located under the cycling road. Oh, no. Now I'm thinking of the right cave. I know where that is. Okay. I'm gonna go, like, try and blow my nose, wash my face. I'll be right back. Watch my game for me. Make sure no one plays it. that gets me. Alrighty. Ah. You ready for this? Actually, let me get down to the cave first. And then, uh, we're gonna start this. Uh, yes, you can transfer Q Charm Shinies. In fact, I've done it, and I do, uh... Ah. Uh, I do, uh, giveaways and stuff like that. Aren't they event exclusive? No, it's not an event. You just need to have, um... Leaf green plugged into your DS, which means you need an old DS to do it, which is why I'm filming on against it. Um, no, we should talk behind his back. Eat, eight people play your game while you were gone. No! I specifically asked for you guys not to! Uh, I just want to say most likely, um, the game will be sent tomorrow or Tuesday, one of the two, so you will get Link Between Worlds, plus a secret extra game. Ooh, I love secrets. I love secrets good. I think I fought all these trainers. I hope I did. I'm excited. Alright, so now I think I back out. Oh, do I... Yeah, well, good thing my scissor nose cut. See? It was a good idea. Helped us in two situations now. Um, let's try and get to this cave. Uh, I don't remember the best way to the cave, but it says um, I get the same odds in either part of it. 
We were talking about Shaman and Darkrai. They do transfer. I've tried it. A shiny from Platinum. I've had many people tell me that it doesn't work. Um, so I don't know what to tell you there. Do I go this way? I think I go this way. I'm not sure. Um, now you, like, try and walk up. What the heck? It's supposed to be back here. I think I'm going two tiles at a time. Uh, do you think I'll ever try and hunt a shiny Jirachi? No, because I already have a shiny Jirachi. Um, we're going to be hunting for a shiny uh, Sand Shrew. As soon as I can get to the cave. For some reason, I had to imagine David Hayter playing Pokemon and hearing the <laughs> sound from Metal Gear. Whatever Pokemon. Yes, that'd be so cool. I would play that game. Metal Gear Pokemon. I think it's, in, it's up higher. Yeah. Oh my god. The encounter rate in this game is stupid high. At least they turned it down a little bit from Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl was worse. You know, surfing in Diamond and Pearl is like... It's like the worst. The worst thing you can ever do in any Pokemon game. It's like surf in Diamond and Pearl. There we go. Alright, um... Let's try this. Yeah, it's just flash up there. Alright guys, you ready for this? Oh no, no, don't even itch the nose yet. Here we go. Oh, it's getting so itchy already. This is not helpful. I'm super allergic to something, I tell you. I'm telling you. Anyway, let's do this. I thought there were two Pokeballs right by me. They're, they're rocks. Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for some more Pokemon Platinum Cute Charm. And today we are continuing on our quest to find some rare shinies while using GBA inserts. If you have an old enough Nintendo DS, it will have a Game Boy Advance insert slot that you can put in the bottom of the game system. And uh, if you have a uh, Pokemon Game Boy Advance game plugged into the bottom, not a Ranger or anything, one of the main games, um, then if you go to very specific locations, you can find new rare Pokemon there. The one that we're looking for here is going to be an 8% shiny Sand Shrew. Now, since we're in a cave, I am not able to do any um, uh, special Poke Radar or anything like that. So this is going to be tough. And then we're also, after this, going to have to go for a shiny Sand Slash in a different cave. So hopefully we can uh, find these shinies quickly. Um, I don't really have a lot of room down here to shiny hunt, as you can see. Um, other than the Sanshu, we've obviously been in here already. Uh, we can find like Geodudes, Bronzor, Zubats, Onyx. I'm pretty sure you also find uh, Gibbles in here. So I wanna make sure we are in the correct area because where I'm reading doesn't tell me a thing about Gibbles. Nope, there's totally a Sand Shrew right there. That's good. It's an 8%, so it's pretty cool we found it. It's actually the rarest thing we can see right now. Oh, it's so adorable. Gotta love Sand Shrews. Gotta love Sand Shrews. Um, Geodudes in here are at 40%, Bronzor's 30, 13% Zubat, and 15% Onyx. Obviously, all of that changes based on um, some new Pokemon entering the area, which is this time with Sand Shrew. We gotta get the Sand Shrew out of here. So, um, after this one, we need to move on, like I mentioned, for, um, Sand Slash, though he's not gonna be in this environment, he's somewhere else, like, where's he, uh, Route 228, yikes, okay, so that's gonna be a super high level, that could be a tough, tough capture, tough battle, we might not have even, um, hunted in 228 yet, um, so that could be interesting, I'm actually gonna pull it up just to double check, because uh, I could be wrong, I usually am wrong, because I don't know what I'm talking about ever. But, um, let me just double check this really quick. So, at Route 228, yes, uh, just confirming, that's like the Sandstream area. We have not been up there. And, uh, based on the time of day, 
We could find Doug Trios, which I think we need. Um, we could find Cacturns, I think we need. Hippodon, I know we need. Diglett, I think we need. And Cacnea, I think we need. That's a lot of Pokemon. There's also Rhydons there, so um, I'm pretty sure we have Rhyperior and we're done with their evolution. Um, pretty sure, because yeah, Rhydons appeared um, somewhere in like Victory Road, I think. So we already passed that. Um, but other than that, um, oh my gosh, also, Poker Radar. Oh no, I, I remember being so mad about this. Poker Radar. Um, in uh, Diamond and Pearl gets you Trap Inch and Vibrava. In Platinum, it gets you nothing. <laughs> yep, that's nice. That's nice. Um, I have no idea why they bothered um, doing that. But that's a thing they did. And then on top of all of that, there's another Sand Shrew, but it's not shiny. Man, my nose is getting so bad. Oh. Another real cool thing about that route coming up is um, it's famous for its swarms of Beldums, wild Beldums. And um, if you poke a radar chain them, you can find shiny Beldums out there. Now, we're not going to because Beldum is genderless. It's not gonna shine for us. Um, so that stinks. Plus it's got a capture rate of three. It's not easy to catch it. That's another reason why it's so famous that people wanna do it. Um, but it's also out during a sandstorm. It is so hard to see the patches when you're trying to shiny hunt it. So it's pretty crazy, but I know a lot of people who've done it. It's a, it's a pretty famous one, like I mentioned. So um, yeah, that's a big deal. Um, I wasn't really planning on going out to that area just yet, but um, cause I wanted to do all of the, uh, these Game Boy exclusive hunts first. Um, now, since we are gonna have access to grass out there, um, I'm honestly gonna try and poke a radar chain those guys. So if we see a new Pokemon, I really shouldn't be hunting them. I really just want to get Sand Slash. But if a new shiny appears, or if it's very rare, like how rare, like Cacnea, he's super rare. Or Diglett, if we need them, or Hippodon is 10%. He's 10% though, I think we can, I think we can let that one slide. It's hard to say. I mean, it's. Re I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot we can do out there. So, um, anyway, this may take us a while. So, uh, I got a feeling I'm gonna be uh, zooming past all this because this is gonna be our first hunt, and it's an eight percent. After we get this eight percent shiny, then we can move on to the other eight percent. That's gonna be a lot harder because I'm gonna be tempted by so many other new shinies that we need out there. So we'll see how this goes. But either way. I will see you guys when we get lucky. Uh, the one stick man, congrats on your shiny, that's awesome! I did see you, uh, I was just trying to finish up so that we can get to our montage. Speaking of Hippodon, found a shiny one. I want a poker radar for a male and female shiny Jigglypuff with Q Charm so I can play a Q Charm game with only shinies. Um, why would you want a male and a female shiny Jigglypuff? It wouldn't, like, you can't just switch genders and, um, assume the game's gonna work. It won't. Um, female's the one that works. Female for them. Male lead. Uh, it's difficult to enjoy life when the Dark Lord himself is ballet dancing on the back of your mouth. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I want to do it myself, but it's so tedious, plus what I have to stop my soul silver starter hunt to get, uh, Jigglypuff. I know it's early in the game. It's not early in the game, but I don't have any help with secret ID. Um, yeah, that's why people honestly send the games over, because it's just tough. Um, you basically have to reset and check and trade and check and trade and reset and check and trade. It's, it's horrible. I've done it for two of my games and never again. Nope. Um, I'm going for an all form shiny living decks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, me too. It's not going well. I mean, I'm over like 63% finished, but yikes. Plus, I have a lot of your guys' help. In my Platinum version, I'm trying to get all available Pokemon in there, so I have to catch Beldum. And they keep killing themselves with either Struggle or Takedown. Oh, I forgot to even mention that. They use Takedown every turn. And then Struggle, yeah. Uh, so I have to catch Beldum, they keep killing themselves, yep. Somehow I caught one, only one. You gotta get three. You gotta get three if you want each evolutionary stage, unless uh, that counts for you. 
because that's another thing for like a living dex. Um, you can't just have Charizard, you need Charmeleon and Charmander. Hey, Aiden, what's going on, man? Today we're uh, shiny hunting in Pokemon Platinum Q Charm in the uh, Wayward Cave right now, trying to find a very rare shiny Sand Shrew. It is 8%. Oh man, it's another Sand Shrew. It's a girl too, and it did not sparkle. It's a bummer. Uh, why didn't you count Pokemon Silence? So you were having an audio problem? Uh, let me know if you guys do have an audio problem. I need to hear about that. Can't you use a ghost type or will they still take recoil? Um, oh, from, uh, yeah, that's true, but you're gonna basically make it go to, um, what is it? Struggles quicker, because that's its only move. Um, gender differences, Vivian patterns, and unknown forms are also included. Yep, I did finish my, uh, Vivian collection, and I did make a video for it very recently. I don't know when it'll go up, though, but I did finally make it. Uh, hey, I'm almost finished with the writing of the list for Pokemon Black 2 White 2. Should I just print them and send it to you to be about P.O. Box? No pressure, though. Take your time. It gives me more time to perfect it. Oh, um, take your time for sure, because we're still working on how to get it to work perfectly. You're the best. Um, I don't remember, like, did you guys say Black 2 White 2 instead of Black and White? Yes! Shiny Sand Shrew! Shiny Sand Shrew! Oh, it looks so cute! Look at it! Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it! Actually, on the um, the screen here, you are not seeing that same green I'm seeing. That is that is some lime green action. It looks gray on the video. Man, that's a shame. Oh, it looks so bright emerald green. It's so nice. Um, slots, uh, let's take a look at some information about this very rare shiny sand shrew we just found. Capture rate is 255. I had no idea they were so easy to capture. Let's just throw a Pokeball and be done with it, and let's get out of here. Sandshrews at level 18, just in case, are gonna know. Swift, uh, Rapid Spin, Poison Sting, and Sand Attack. Please don't poison me. All right, cool. I'm gonna be all right. Uh, Pokeballs, nice. Okay, so we're gonna be moving from here out into this sandy wilderness to try and find the evolution of Sandshrew Wild. Get a shiny sand slash. That is gonna be really tough. But uh, it's tough because I'm gonna be so distracted by all the other shinies we are gonna be running into. Um, you know, since I only need one, what I could do is just wild encounter out there, but if I wild encounter, I'm gonna run into everything else we need to catch. I guess that's just gonna happen anyway. Gosh, I don't know what to do. It's gonna be nuts. I'm gonna try and like minimize accidentally seeing all the other shinies because I wanna film them with the capture card. But, um, either way. Shiny Sand Shrew, the mouse Pokemon. To protect itself from attackers, it curls up into a ball. It lives in arid regions with minimal rainfall. Doesn't that mean it's like an armadillo? Like, why is it a mouse? Isn't Pikachu the mouse? And we have other mice, too. Give a nickname to the Conch Sand Shrew. Whatever. Yes. Is your name a Juppy? Use False Swipe to get it to 1 HP. Oh, wasn't that bad. It was 255. Uh, Lime Shrew? I don't know, I'm in not in my decent nickname inventing mood. <laughs> Call it sparkly one. We can do better than that, guys. Knuckles? Mm. Mm. Let me see. Somebody name the most random thing in your room right now. The most random thing in your room. Uh, no, I'm not the one who speaks German. Pickle. You have a pickle in your room? Sahara is a nice name. I think I have somebody named Sahara. Terror? A pear. Uh, Pikachu more like a squirrel? R2-D2. <laughs> a fork. A towel. Um, jug. Lamp. Uh, carpet lick? Plug. Jacket. Fisher Price baby toys! <laughs> Paper towel. Um, uh, ancient teddy bear. Hmm. Oh, come on, mouse, Jolly Rancher, pen, purse, plush, um, a cactus. Well, we're gonna be catching cactuses later. Does doorknob? I kinda like doorknob. That's pretty stupid. I like, I think doorknob is our winner. Dried fish. <laughs> um, 
Deer Cube Piggy Bank. Um, Volvodon. Volvodon's actually a very good name. You know, actually, I might have to go back and say, wow, that was a perfect name. Volvodon. We'll have to try. Um, what is the music I have at the beginning? It's actually some free stuff from YouTube. It's called, uh, Half Pipe. Alright, um, though, oh, but you have so many other good, stupid names. I like Volvodon, though. It's... We'll have a chance to name another one, and the other one, I want you guys all to think. What is the best stupid random object name? We'll, we'll name Sandslash that. Volvodon was transferred to Box 1 in Baby's PC. That was an awesome name. It even came out of nowhere after I was just asking everybody to come up with stupid names. Like Doorknob? Yes, I think Doorknob may be our winner for uh, Sandslash for later. But uh, we'll see how that goes, because for now, we gotta fly to that scary place way up yonder. I think it's right here. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is make it through the resort area and uh, then get up to this place. And I'm pretty concerned about, for one, the levels of the Pokemon we're gonna be finding out here. And two, um, the fact that there's so many new shinies for us to find um, in fact, out in this environment right here, there might even be new shinies. I don't remember, uh, Illumis is always female, and that means it is basically gender locked and unaffected by cute charm and won't shine. Bummer. Yeah, I did fly from under a bridge. You saw it. You saw me. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so if we go up through here, I believe it starts getting sandy real quick. 228, is this our winner? Yes, this is what we wanted. Oh gosh, I gotta catch Pokemon in this too. Oh, man, this is even the the bike thing. Shoot. Am I on the nope. There we go. Okay, uh, did I go the right way? Oh, I don't even think I fought all these trainers. This could be bad. Uh, where's the big grass patches here? I might want to try and chain. Oh crap, man, this is horrible. Oh, I can't even bust through that. Um. Good, I fought them. Uh, is that a big grass patch? Thank you. Here we go. Here's our winner. Woo! Everyone's saying save. Yes, I gotta save. Um, let me stand in here first. Okay. Woo! Now, just a quick reminder. This place has a lot of new Pokemon. I don't, it's been a while since I've, um, filmed, and I don't remember if, uh, Diglett, Doug Trio, Cacnea, Cacturn um, are new. I know for sure Hippodon is new. So I don't really want to go for them. Um, if they appear, I would rather not. But we'll see. Um, I'm just going to try this. I should throw a Repel on. I should, but... Yep, we don't have Doug Trio. And they're super common out here. I mean, I really should run. Like I said, we'll come back here. Come on. We will come back here. Oh, Arena Trap, are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I needed something with Runaway. Oh, man. Encountering out here is gonna be hell. It's gonna be horrible. Alright, I really don't want a shiny Dug Trio, and if anything, I'm gonna be running from Dug Trios if they have Arena Trap, so forget it. We should wild encounter. Oh, God! It was a Sand Slash. Oh, that's so rare and so cool, but it's not what we needed. Ooh, you're right! A, a Smoke Ball. Good point there. Um, I think a smoke ball will counter this. So, um, if I go bag, let's see, um, I think I have another. I, I hope I do. Smoke ball, give. Slots, I know you're holding leftovers, buddy, but trust me, this is for your own good, man. All right. 
Should we wild encounter in here or attempt the, uh... Gosh, I don't know. I got a feeling we should just wild encounter. See what we run into. Man, filming against a game during the sandstorm. That ain't working. It is not working. Oh, man. This, this could be... This could be crazy. Took me so long to find that shiny sand slash. Oh, so you've uh, you've done this, Q charm wise. We found shiny sand slash in um, heart gold Q charm. Um, sand trees are actually pretty early in the game, and then uh, sand slash, I think what we got in the safari zone. Um, actually, most of these Pokemon here uh, were safari zone finds, late game safari zone finds from heart gold. Cacnea, Cacturn, um, Diglett, uh, and Dugtrio I found in that area, but they weren't in the Safari Zone. There's another, but it is, uh, very red noses. Um, aside from that, a Hippodon, he was a Safari Zone find as well. In fact, I had to put objects down to get his butt to appear. That was annoying. This is gonna stink. This is really gonna stink, isn't it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe I should have came out here during, like, um, a swarm. Nah, that would have made it harder. Oh, and the swarm is Beldum, right. Gosh, I have no idea. This is bad. This is real bad. So, anyway, I I don't even know what is going to appear, um, to be completely honest. Just to give you percentages, 40% is Cacturn, which is super weird. We're not seeing it. We're actually seeing a ton of dog trios. Which are 30%, which is super common, but still, um, Rhydons we're seeing, and they're 10%. Hippodons are 10%. Now, Diglets and Cacneas are 5%. So, they're gonna be a little tougher. Um, oh, wow, it's not shiny. That's just a girl. I was like, I can't tell what they're shiny or not. Uh, Diglet and Cacneas are both 5 So, when we come back here, um, or if they appear early... They're gonna stink. So, we'll see how that goes. But, um, I mean, technically right now I've got access to everybody, but I just wanna get the GBA insert and get out of here because this is super hard to film. Please be shiny. It's shiny! It's shiny Sand Slash! Holy crap, are you kidding me? Oh my god! Did I, ex did I further explain how rare that was? Did I elaborate enough of that? That's ridiculous! It's freaking ridiculous! Shiny Sand Slash level 50! My god! Um, oh my god, that is insane! Uh, it is a capture rate 90. Um, okay, so... Oh my god, that's so cool! We got just what we needed, we can get out of here! Sweet! Um, Pokeballs, I'm just gonna throw the quick ball. Is, uh, it's level 50. This thing can start beating the crap out of me if it wants to, and I really don't want it to. One, two, three, please! Yes, just done. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. That was so great. We found a shiny 8% before finding any of the others. In what reality is this? What are the chances of that? This is insane. But anyway, this is the mouse Pokemon. It curls up and rolls into foes with its back. Its sharp spines inflict severe damage. Oh my gosh, that is such an awesome shiny. Give a nickname to the Cut Sand Slash. Yes. Uh, sorry guys, I was missing some comments here. So, uh, oh yes, done. Thank you, game. Um, Star Guardian Cookie, uh, you're back. Actually, I'm gonna name you Hamtaro. Oh, <laughs> I don't actually think anybody's called me Hamtaro. Uh, but uh, go for it. There's a uh, bowling ball. Ooh, just random stuff. Bowser. Like I thought it was doorknob. We like doorknob. I think we've done doorknob though. Have we done doorknob? Organic chia seeds. <laughs> uh, wait. Do we do we have a, a chia? Maybe a chia pet? I don't know. Dried fish because I'm eating some right now. Um, and everyone will remember that Julian Frigid was eating dried fish on that day. We named the other one Knuckles, and I don't even like that name for it. Um, Hairbrush! Uh, the other Sand Slash in our other game is named Knuckles. We don't need to do that. Uh, rubies. Uh, 
my Doritos. Uh, brass knuckles eating. That won't fit. Uh, blue cheese hairbrush ketchup. Huh. Orange aid. <laughs> Hearthstone. Strag. Ravioli. Ravioli. So I kind of like doorknob still. Can we, can we have some people who want to vote on doorknob? Plank. Dr. Pepper, Electric Fan. Uh, my Dex of Platinum is 484. Oh, I'm so close. Need to play through Emerald to get those stupid Reggies. Um, I think you just need to. Oh, you're trying to complete it. I got you. I was gonna say like you for the National Dex. You don't need all that, but you're past National Dex. Um, Ravioli sounds good. Okay, I just want to see somebody agree on one of them. So we like ravioli. Ravioli was transferred to box one in Bebe's PC. We were thinking about doorknob and then ravioli. I, I cannot explain the logic that goes behind our naming conventions. I apologize. I don't need to apologize to you. Who are you, anyway? Um, Vulpix. I can't believe we actually get to move on from here, but Vulpix, if we can get Vulpix, we are heading out of Leaf Green's uh, GBA slots. We have two options for Vulpix. We can go to Route 209 or Route 214. Um, 214, I think, is going to give us the higher level Pokemon, so that's a little better. Is that down here? Okay. Let's attempt this. Let's go south of Veilstone. And we're gonna try and find um, shiny Vulpix. We are gonna need two of them, though. Um, I can't believe how fast we got that. That's insane. Um, let's pull this up on my computer. Because if it's on my computer, I can know what I'm doing. Know what I'm doing. What else was out here? I think we had to come back for another reason. I could be wrong, though. Um, this was Hound Hours, Gravelers. Uh, Geodudes, um, yeah, um, pretty sure that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, and there's that cave with the crazy dude. Oh, uh, wait, hold on, can I just look in here? Well, it could, but at the same time, um, it'd be a lot better if I just took the bigger patch of grass and tried to chain it, because we're gonna need two, and, um, hopefully it's not gonna be that hard to get. I'm hoping, uh, though I've got a bad feeling it's gonna be really bad. All right, here we go. Let's uh, save for one. Yes, I'm gonna switch back over to, um, yeah, GB insertion. 8% uh, chance of a level 24 ball picks. Yes, saving a lot of data. Okay, whew. Chugga, 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 chugga. Saving in uh, Diamond Pro Platinum is horrible. Um, so, anyway, yes, there's also Poochiennas in here, if it happens to be our swarm. Uh, though I think we did that one already, didn't we already? I think we did that swarm? I could be wrong. I don't know, I chained it, so I completely don't remember. Um, let's look for, uh, no, the repels are in this bag, right? Uh, I think they are, I really don't remember. Uh, super repel, use, here we go. Um, okay, so let's repel this. Um, alrighty, let's back out. And what the heck's going, uh, Aussie Charizard is raiding with a party of 13. Uh, it's now hosting you for up to seven viewers. They just emoji spammed me. <laughs> it's been a minute, man. Wow, I'm so happy you're alive. <laughs> I'm finally back on Twitch, I know, I'm sorry. It's been such a long time. I, it took forever for me to get the darn thing even working. Um, I'm using new software, that's why it wasn't working out right. Um, so anyway, I was actually just about to start searching for uh, Shiny Vulpix. So, um, thanks everybody for joining me. Then we're about to start uh, our Shiny hunt here. Anyway, let's get going. All right guys, here we go. Looking for Shiny Vulpix. I'm just gonna have to keep going uh, one tile at a time using the poker radar because if we can find one Vulpix this way, I can try and farm out two shinies. We're gonna need 
two of them. One's gonna be our Nine Tails, and the other one, obviously, is gonna stay as Vulpix. And um, fun fact, uh, for my Pokemon, um, what is it called, Living Dex? I actually don't have a Vulpix. I have a Nine Tails. I don't have a Vulpix, so I figure, hey, um, we'll be able to actually add something to the Living Dex for that. There's a shiny Graveler. Um, but, uh, the Vulpix is something I'm actually really excited about, so... That's one that I'm gonna actually get to save, and that one's not for trade. Though, the Ninetales will be for trade. You guys will be able to trade these. Like, I trade all the Shinies at the end of the series away to you guys. Um, and, uh, they're basically for helping me try and finish that Living Dex up. You know, so for some struggling Shinies I'm having trouble getting my hands on. You know, I'll trade you guys some of your choice from here that you probably have, and that's how it goes. Um, so as a reminder, Vulpix is only an 8%. I mean, we're basically trying to do an episode where we're finding three 8% Shinies. Um, and that third one, we're gonna have to chain in order to get it to appear multiple times. So that's really... I am very surprised we were able to do this in a single episode. Um, and we still may not yet. It all depends. We'll have to see how uh, rare a Vulpix is or wants to be out here. But either way, I mean, I got Leaf Green inserted. It says it should be here. All I can do is keep on searching. And until I find it, I will see you guys when we get lucky. Uh, Rhyhorn Rye have a cry of Charizard. They're pretty similar. The original cries, there were a lot that were similar. Like Mewtwo and Paris are like the same. <laughs> the exact same. Um, you can use Q-Charm to get Shiny Heatran. Yes, Heatran will actually be our final Shiny of the series. I'm gonna make it a Legendary. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Blazer. Um, after this, um, I think we should move on to Fire Red. I wonder, I gotta check which ones you get from Fire Red. So we know Sandslash is in the wild via GBA insert, but all the other evolutions for GBAs are not in the wild. Oh, no, 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 some are. He's only a two-stage, that's why it is. Um, so, like, uh, we got Weedle and Kakuna, but we didn't get Beedrill, so that's the deal. In my opinion, Shiny Vulpix only looks good in the older gens. The newer ones, it looks desaturated and greenish. Yeah, the newer gens kind of ruined a lot of Shinies. Like, a lot of Shinies. Also, is it just me? I really don't like the new Cries. Or models, honestly. Like, a lot of the new models, too, don't even look good. Um, the Rhyhorn, Dagnabbit. I'm back up here a couple times, so I back to the Nine Tails. Uh, I'm sorry, Vulpix page. Uh, I wonder if we have a, um, a Firestone. We just make a Vulpix today. Um, so, if we go to Fire Red, for Q-Charm, I have a Jigglypuff with all 31 IVs. Well, how'd you how'd you get that? Are you cheating? Because there's no it, that won't help you. Um, all right, so with Fire Red, we'll get Caterpie Metapod. We'll have to go back to the Turn of Forest. We'll get Caterpie Metapod, uh, Ekans, Arbok, and then Growlithe. So it's basically the same thing again, just the other Pokemon from the old those games. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum made Quilava the most awesome shiny I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. They, they made so many shiny mistakes that are really great. Uh, walk another 11 steps. Haven't seen you in a while. Charmy B 99 I've been on YouTube, but, uh, yeah, my Twitch has not been working. Who was shiny hunting while watching the stream? Yeah, good luck to anybody else who's shiny hunting out there. Uh, speaking of Vulpix, I'm gonna hatch it and Growlithe in Gen 2. Can't wait to do that. Gotta finish Johto first. Very cool. That sounds like an exciting hunt. Shinies in Gen 2 are just the best. First time watching you on Twitch. Uh, TG Turgurf. I'm just going to pronounce it. Turgurf 3. Well, thanks, Turgurf, for joining us. Quest. Stop it, please. Why would you give me Moltres and Articuno and Zapdos? I just want Mew. Uh, I still haven't played Quest. I'm not, I don't know. Like, do you, I hear mixed things from you guys about Quest. Like, some of you guys hate it, some of you guys love it. Are we doing the Black 2, White 2 hack thing? I need to know so I can set it up for you. Oh, um, we're, st oh, if you're trying to, like, 
set the thing up so that it works? Yes, but I need to know um, what the odds are gonna be. Like, if it's manageable. If it's not manageable, then I don't know. Um, dang, where's you dudes? Um, uh, that's like the eighth, maybe ninth Alex stream I've seen live. I have been on all of them! <laughs> Hello, Tagurf! It asked me to at Tagurf say Tagurf. I was speaking to you, man! Wait, say man however you want. I'll, I'll Tagurf you. He's, he's my favorite of the all of the Tagurfs out there. The greatest Tagurf there is. Uh, Hamster, Hamster Bomb did play Pokemon Hyper Emerald. No, I'm not playing any of the ROM hack stuff. I, yeah, I think we got Shiny Rhyperior. I'm pretty sure we did. Why isn't Ninetales and Arcanine in the wild? They're a two-stage evolution family. Um, that's true, but they need an evolutionary stone to get them. And I don't think anywhere in the wild anywhere you find evolu- Well, okay, Sun and Moon did some wacky stuff. But it's extremely rare for you to find an, um, a, a Pokemon in the wild that has evolved with an evolutionary stone. Typically, the game wants you to do that yourself. I've been on all of them. <laughs> hamster Bomb. Um, I'm like the one person out there who's seen all the Hamster Bomb streams. Without the charm, one, two, 56. With the charm, it's theoretically one out of 85. One out of 85 is horrible, though. That is horrible. Um, is that the best you can get? I thought I heard somebody else saying they found another way to make it even higher. I don't know. I thought someone else had made one higher than that. Because if you think about it, one out of 85 encounters, multiply that out by your encounter rate of trying to get like a 10%, it would be insane. It'd be ridiculous. No gosh, run. I am 99% done with quest, actually. All I need to do is beat the last stage and obtain Mew, which is apparently like super rare. With a one in five chance, I obtained 15 Mewtwo by now. Wow. Well, I don't really understand the chances in that game anyway. Uh, oh, Hamster, I never told you. Uh, hold on. The two steps. About a month ago, I got a shiny Dark Ryan Diamond. That is awesome. Congrats. Um. Promax is also here. Hey, how you going? We are shiny hunting in Pokemon Platinum Q Charm, trying to find a shiny Vulpix. This sucker is very rare. Uh, one out of 85 is horrible. Pokemon Shiny Hunter. Blazer, here. Here's why one out of 85 is horrible. So, one out of 85, if you think of like the percentage of what that actually is, Sure, in normal shiny hunting, that's incredibly good, but if you have to shiny hunt every single Pokemon out of the patch of grass before you're allowed to progress, that it will take weeks trying to leave the first route. So, no, it, that's that's unacceptably high. Like, bad odds, we can't really do that. Uh, 1 out of 85, they're trying to make um, a Pokemon Cute Charm-esque version game in the 5th gen, and um, yeah, it, it's, unless we played it at, like, double speed, which I don't want to do that, you know what I mean, like, that, uh, I understand, but from a third-person standpoint, oh, yeah, I understand how it sounds silly, but still, oh, my nose is so itchy, gosh, gravel, I haven't even seen a Vulpix yet, scaring the heck out of me, scaring me with this, I'd sure like to find this Vulpix. Um, because this is going to end up being its own episode if it takes this long. Fortunately, we're montaging, though. Um, help me, I got a shiny graveler on screen. What do I do? Um, quick ball. Best thing you need to do, quick ball. Don't master ball. He, his catch rate's not that bad. Just quick ball him. Um, then you have a one out of four chance. If he pops out of that... Honestly, I might throw- if you're in a cave, throw a dust ball. I'm not naming it Naruto. Throw a quick ball start, uh, praying it won't kill itself. Well, check what level it is first. It might not even know explosion or self-destruct. Not all of them do. What ability do you want the shiny Vulpix to have? Oh, I don't care. Like, I, I do not care. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just catching them. 
you have a damper with you. Ooh, well, if they weren't shiny hunting, they probably don't know that. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I I'm just gonna catch the... Naruto. I'm not naming it Naruto, Naruto. Um, you can't raise odds higher to my knowledge due to code limitations. I understand, um, but I'm telling you somebody else told me they found a way to make it even higher than that. I think. Um, but I don't remember what they were talking about. Um, speaking of shiny hunting, the odds in quests are speculated to be maybe something between 1 in 100 to 1 in 200. I managed to get shiny Hitmonchan and shiny Aerodactyl in the same cooking session. Whatever that means. Um, it gets self-destruct as a G-Dude. I understand that, but I'm saying not all Gravelers, based on the level, have self-destruct or explosion. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. So I've had it happen before. Um, just throw balls at it and hope for the best, yeah. If you're in a cave, got any dust balls? Yes, dust balls are just as good as quick balls. Um, Heavy Scotty, hey, welcome to the stream. We are shiny hunting in Pokemon Platinum Q Charm. I'm not lonely anymore. Uh, looking for shiny Vulpix. Batteries run dry, you want to walk one step. Oh my god. Here we go, we got a couple rustling patches. Vulpix out here is 8%, so it's pretty hard to get a chain started. Yes, Vulpix! We finally found Vulpix. Okay, now, we're gonna have to battle our way through this and get two shiny Vulpix. It has uh, Flash Fire as its ability. I'm going to uh, just discharge his. Okay, here we go, it's on. It is on, Vulpix. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a new shiny for me. Oh gosh, that's not safe, not taking those. I'm gonna be very safe here. I gotta lean lower like this so I can even see my screen, by the way, so sorry about that. That's one, two, one, two, three, four. It's a Vulpix, thank God, okay. Um, what do we have here? Regular Vulpix, darn it, okay. We need two shinies, I'm so nervous I'm gonna screw this up and I'm gonna crash or something, Uh, Oh, okay. Vulpix use flash fire, fight with another discharge. Here we go. Oh, all right. All right. Come on. Slots game, 324. Here we go. Nope, the, none of those. Darn, for as big as this patch is, it's not helpful for uh, giving me fours. That's a good one. One, two, three, four. Well, it's four, four. Okay, good, it's Vulpix, thank God. Okay. Um, regular Vulpix, darn it. Ugh. Oh, come on. Come on. Trace, flash fire. I mean, technically, um, our shiny charm odds should tell us it's one out of five. So I really should get to a chain of five before we even find a shiny Vulpix. Oh god, that's bad. I'm gonna come down here, try and, oh, I'm in the wrong row. Okay, back off. Let's run till I get here, bam. That's bad too. Um, yeah, bad layout. These are, this is a, yeah, it's a really bad shaped grass patch, but it's big. That's, oh, that's all I can work with. That's, those are not good. I really basically wanted to fire um, up and left or down to the right. That's not good either. It keeps going in the wrong direction. Oh gosh. I'm nervous. Uh, it lines up, but technically someone told me that doesn't matter. Oh no, the rappel wore off again. Great, here we go. It's Vulpix, thank you, okay. Oh. <laughs> Not shiny, dag nabbits. At least we're finding a good amount of Vulpix. I haven't screwed it up yet. Okay, here we go. Trace, flash fire, kill it with a discharge. Oh, you guys are telling me to like stand in different positions. Yeah, there's a lot of play, like you wanna maximize the, um, the four slots for it to fire. Like that was on the edge. It's not really safe to go there. 
I think this is a good, no, this is best. There we go, that's a good one. That's Vulpix, okay, come on. One out of five, this is the fifth one. Dang it, okay. Now we can officially start complaining about odds. Uh, because I, our odds really should be this high. Oh my god, Vulpix, come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. It's been a crazy episode. Yeah, I can't believe we got Sandshrew, Sandslash, and we're gonna get a Vulpix? Maybe. If I fail, it'll stink. Oh no, come on. Only one patch shook? How'd that even happen? This, the game does not want me to do this. Here, no, it's this one. Yo, oh, that was bad. Oh gosh, this is bad. I'm freaking out. Dun, 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 dun. Whenever it's a new Pokemon for me, I'm like always, I don't know, I get so excited that uh, I'll get nervous. I don't know. Yeah, it's the thrill of the hunt, guys. Even if the odds are pretty high, you gotta hunt everybody. It's generous enough, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Thank you, okay. It's generous enough, but um, it's not like overly generous. Another normal Vulpix, dang nabbit. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, let's keep going and uh, uh, Girl Without a Fairy. We were talking about um, making a fifth gen, if you guys remember in an episode back, a fifth gen Pokemon game that uh, runs like Q-Charm with higher shiny odds so we can try and shiny hunt in it. And uh, we were trying to estimate what kind of shiny odds we can come up with. But uh, at the moment, oh, oh, there's a good one. Good, it's Vulpix, please. Um, at the moment, we still haven't found one that I think is perfect. Darn it! That can't get to, like, Q-Charm odds of, like, how high it really is. With, like, hacking it away and obviously making it fake, but just for the fun of the hunt. I- uh, why are we not- yeah, we're really over odds here. But still, it's not that bad. I think we can do this. That one's okay, except for the fact that it's on one tile. Okay, it's still Vulpix and it continue. That's good. Okay, come on, please. Shiny Vulpix! Finally, Shiny Vulpix! Yes! Yes, we found it! Oh, it looks so good. Look at that cute little guy skittering away. All right, Vulpix. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I wanna learn, I wanna learn all about you. Uh, let's make a new tab here. Vulpix uh, is gonna have a capture rate of 190. And at level 24, we'll know Flamethrower, Imprison, Confuse Rain, Will-O-Wisp. It's actually gonna be a decent Ninetales, uh, just evolving it from here. So at 190, um, I kinda wanna try a Quick Ball first, um, just cause I'm a little nervous, but it's not that bad. That's a pretty good capture rate. Oh, nice. Yes, and everything is gonna be a female. One, two, three, got it. Shiny Vulpix, we got one. At the very least, we got one for this episode. We gotta get one more. Come on now, odds, tell us. We're due for another. We're due for another. We gotta get another, it's gotta come soon. So we'll see, and we'll make it a Ninetales. But anyway, this is the Fox Pokemon. It controls balls of fire. As it grows, its six tails split from their tips to make more tails. Well, one more, one more at least. Give a nickname to the Cod Vulpix, yes. Well, the developments in hacking Gen 6 and 7 already allow modifying the shininess rate, so if you want, you can do it there. You would just need a way of launching the modified game. See, that's the thing. I would need, like, a, a 3DS that can launch the modified game. Yeah, and I'm not really sure about that. Star Fox? Firefox? I think we named one Firefox in the last... Wait, actually, we didn't have... Um, I don't know. Um, I would say, uh, Selkie, name of the fox girl from Fire Emblem. Yobi, sassy, just sassy. Same with Gen 3, although the only tool I know that can change shininess rate makes every trainer have the same chance of having their Pokemon being shiny. That's funny though, That's I don't have a problem with that. Um, thing is, I really want one for Gen 5. Um, Foxy, Foxo, Gaslamp, <laughs> Fox Girl. Uh, um, QB? Uh, means nine tail fox. 
We can name it QB if you guys want. I just want you guys to agree on something. Um, Kitsune, I know that's what it is, but... Yeah, I know it's the fox in Japanese. Keep the browser theme, call it Chrome. <laughs> uh, Chibis Fox, Mozilla. <laughs> kind of like Mozilla, that's pretty funny. Instead of just being super obvious with Firefox, just name it Mozilla. All right, we got an agreement there. Someone likes Mozilla. Mozilla was transferred to box one in Bebe's PC. This is gonna continue right now. Uh, I'll take that. One, two, three, four, and here we go, one, two. It's still continued. Okay, thank God, we need a second. Not shiny, we will keep going. Maybe the next one should be Firefox, I don't know. <laughs> Mozilla and Firefox. Okay. Um, Vulpix, sorry, you gotta go. You have gotta go. I was hoping for a back-to-back -back one, yeah, me too, but... Nothing yet. Come on, it was, only, it was only one encounter, come on, we can do this, it's okay. These Vulpixes, oh my gosh, do not want me to have them. They're making this so much tougher than it needs to be. I'm not taking that. Um, so by the way, right now, uh, this is tied for our, uh, third highest, uh, chain we've ever done in a Poker Radar. Which is not particularly impressive, because they're not super high numbers. Okay, it's Vulpix is now taking over for, uh, third place. Normal Vulpix, darn it. Um... That's not good. All right, so, um... I don't know. I don't know anymore. Getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. But anyway, I think our number one, our top is like, um, Eevee, like a stupid high number. Because I obviously had to do a lot of those. Oh, no. Gosh, why is it not giving me fours? Here. It didn't even give me a four in my magic spot. Come on, game. Okay, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Uh, it lined up with a bad one, and that's my rule. I don't take those. Um, do you raise odds as you do the chain like normal? Uh, yes, but not Q Charm odds. They don't go up with it. Q Charm is always the same. So the Poker Radar has a chance of giving me a shiny patch, but uh, okay, thank god, it's 11, it is still Vulpix. Shiny Vulpix number two! We did it! Yes! Whew! Alright, go slots. Let's do this. We can move on to another game after this one. I think we're doing Fire Red after this. Yes, so excited. I'm gonna just uh, attempt a quick ball capture. Yes. I want to see if I have a, a Firestone. I hope I do. And uh, we can evolve one of these guys today. Uh, it looks like our next target is going back to Eternal of Forest. We're going to be doing it with, um, let's see. Oh, oh this one. Fire Red. We're going to move on. We've just completed Leaf Green. We're done with that GBA insert. Excellent. Give a nickname to the Cod Vulpix. Yes. Uh, name it Kubi. Oh, man, Carmela, a shout-out to Sly Cooper. This one, Opera. Another name of a browser. I'm not going all browsers. Tuck, tuck, go. Uh, QB, Yobi was a good one. Name it Mewtwo. Um, how do you actually spell the, uh, Kubi? You guys seem to argue about the spelling. Lipstick! <laughs> K-Y-U-B-I or K-U-U-B-I. Which one is it, guys? K-U-U-B-I? I'm seeing that twice. Um, guys, don't keep, don't repost. I'm trying to hear from different people. Um, Chili. <laughs> uh, Crystal Star Fox. K-O-E-B. Oh my goodness, guys. How are you supposed to spell that? Uh, Monster Ring, because Ninetales is silver. Yobi is how you spell Kubi. What? Window. So you're gonna do a fire red insertion. Yeah, we're gonna do fire red insertion after this. Okay, if you if you guys aren't sure, I'm not I'm not typing that. Ignatius. Uh, it's K Y U B I. Okay. 
What does that even mean again? What is that, Fox and some other like? What is that? What, what does that mean again? Oh, it's Kayubi. Okay, what does it even mean? <laughs> Name it Fire Red, but it was a Leaf Green Shiny. Um, I'm from Italy! Angry winky face back. <clears throat> Darn Italy! My sister's in Italy right now, actually. Um, did you get Magby? It's still Leaf Green insertion. Um, I don't think it is in Platinum. Um, I don't think it is. Are you sure? Um, I'll have to double check. Could someone double check if you can get Magby in, uh, Platinum? Um, I thought Kubi was a Yokai wa Witch. Yokai Watch Fox character. Is anyone gonna tell me? Meaning Ninetale. Oh, it's the Ninetale Mystical Fox. Okay, cool. Just making sure that was right. Kayubi was transferred to Box 1 in Bebe's PC. Nice. And we did it. It's still going. I'll try and break here. Yeah, I broke. Unfortunately, I was just gonna say, if we can find a random third one, that'd be cool. Shiny Poochiena. But no, that's not what we're looking for. So, I'm gonna go back to the box. We're gonna take a look at our shinies from today. And, um... We're going to uh, double check um, if we can evolve it right now. Let me see in my bag. Um, Leaf Stone, there's one of them. Um, I got a Fire Stone right there. We're ready to go. But unfortunately, that means I'm not going to be able to get Arcanine. I'm going to have to um, get another Fire Stone for that. So that's a bummer. Um, so, you know, maybe I should wait to evolve them for later. But nah, I'll evolve it now. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's get in here. Let's take a look at our new shinies and see what we need. Uh, you guys are also mentioning that um, Magby is an additional um, leaf green Pokemon that you can get through um, GBA insertion. The only thing about that is it is only through breeding. Um, so I'm, or GBA, I'm pretty sure you can't get Magby. Uh, Demons is apparently Leaf Green. I have Leaf Green in right now. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm, other people are saying you can't get Magby. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I can't. Um, I would have been really excited if I could because Magby is one that I'm going to need on my uh, living decks. Here we go, our super rare shiny. I'm telling you, it's a bright, glorious green. You'll see it later when we go through the capture card. Uh, Volvedon, our shiny Sand Shrew. It is serious with good perseverance and Sand Veil as its ability. Moving up from here, we also got Ravioli, who is a timid, strong-willed Ravioli with Sand Veil as its ability. Moving up from here, we have Mozilla, which is, which is holding a Rouseberry. It is jolly and quick to flee with Flash Fire. And then our other one here is uh, Kayubi, also holding a Rouseberry, lacks nature, strongly defiant, also Flash Fire. Not sure which one of those is better. I'm gonna let the internet pick uh, really quickly right now. And we're gonna make ourselves a Ninetales. So internet, do you guys want Mozilla or Kayubi to be our shiny? At the moment, I'm just gonna grab one of the two of them until they tell me, nope, that's wrong. Oh no, here we go, switch it. Uh, yeah, I know I can go mining and get the stones. Uh, I'm not really concerned as much about getting the stones out of here. Uh, I got one vote telling me Kayubi. All right, that's all I needed. Two of them saying Kayubi. All right, cool. Doesn't matter much to me anyway. I'm gonna be trading this anyway. Bag. Uh, Firestone use. Here we go. On Kayubi. What? Kayubi's evolving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, shiny Ninetales. My first Q Charm one. This is my second Shiny Ninetales ever though. Glorious. Glorious. I love that shiny. That is an awesome shiny. I love the blue tips at the end of the tail, too. Your Kayubi evolved into nine tails. That is awesome. And that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Q Charm. Boo! And of course, that's just for the recording, guys. 
Um, I think I've got one more in me. I'm gonna try... Oh my gosh, it's already been three hours of streaming. Um, but I am going to put him back, her back, uh, save, and, uh, we'll just move on from here. I like Shiny Nine Tails, one of my first shinies. Yeah, I got mine pretty early, too. I just looked up, uh, you need to breed for Magby. Okay. Uh, so I basically can't Q-Charm it, is what you're telling me. Alright, Mozilla, you come with me, little guy. Um, where do you go in the decks? Number 37, you say? Uh, I don't know exactly where it's gonna land here. Um, let me pull him up again, just to double check. Mango juice was better, you should have evolved- Oh my god, I'm gonna give it to you guys, and you can evolve them as much as you want. Whoever gets mango juice, I swear he's gonna be so happy. Um, for Magby Route 227, Stark Mountain, Bulbapedia says. In Platinum? In Diamond and Pearl, yes, but I don't think in Platinum you can do that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not true. I'll double check. Uh, so anyway, Vulpix, you are next to- Oh, directly next to Clefable, perfect. Uh, oh, Blazer's gotta take off, I'll see ya. Um, hey! Kim brought me food! I should pro- I was thinking I should probably get off anyway because I gotta eat. And we gotta get ready soon. Right? Yeah? I just yeah. finished a huge episode. I was just bringing you food so that we could still be drinking and eat. Eat while I'm str- I've done that before. I thought the internet liked watching you eat. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> they watch me. That's weird. I know, I don't know what's wrong what with them. What are you guys doing? That's just- wrong. Wasting their time. Not eat on camera. Look, they there. see now they're just saying eat on camera, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Too many people on the internet derive uh, sexual pleasure from watching me eat food. Item, take the raspberry. I wanna. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look at this. It. <laughs> Yeah, because you just want to eat my food. That's all it is. She just wants to take my food. <laughs> Alright. Hey, uh, so Kim, today we got, um, Vulpix Ninetales, and, um, Weedle Kakuna Beedrill, and Sandshrew Sandslash, which I also gotta put those guys away. I'm gonna put, uh, Scissor- no, Scissor goes in my party. Scissor knows Cut and False Wipe, and that's helpful. Oh, hold on, I gotta heal, uh, Porygon 2 as well. Uh... They're saying that you're good- too good to me. No. No. I- I just said I would get sexual arousal from watching him eating food. I think they meant food. because you brought me food. Oh. <laughs> no, he left me a message that said, Oh, I'll eat your leftovers, which meant, get me some food. Oh, she brought me a real meal! Yay! I know better. Good. She knows better. I knew I wasn't gonna have leftovers either. Um, Sandshrew Sandslash comes after Pikachu, right? Or is it before Pikachu? After. After, I think. It's right. like the number before or the number after. I think it's the number after. Uh... Yeah, it's the one after. Oh. What do you mean drum roll? I didn't, I didn't do any drum rolls. I would have a drum roll for that. There we go. Uh, can I just remind everyone that I'm the one who convinced Alex to not evolve Mango Juice? <laughs> They're all arguing about, um, there was this evolution for, okay, I had, uh, two Electabuzz, okay? Okay. And per tradition for my other video, we named the cute charm ones, Juices. Juices, okay. The one was Mango Juice, I don't remember what the other one was. Okay, like, uh, Papaya Juice, I don't know, it was something funky, okay? And, um... I asked the internet, like I always do, which one do you want me to evolve? And it's not a big deal, because I trade the Pokemon away anyway. Right. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. And, um, they, they, um, one person, I guess it was 150 Gallade, said, uh, don't evolve Mango Juice, evolve the other one. So I evolved the other one, whatever. And then everybody else, in a swarm, was furious! <laughs> That Why? I did not evolve. I don't know. And they were so close to being identical. It was not a big deal. 
but everyone's like, no, mango juice is so great. But it was not a big deal at all. So whatever. I guess I'm gonna turn my game off anyway in order to switch uh, for uh, Fire Red for our next one. Uh, so I guess this is a good time for me to stop anyway. Um, I'll let me see where we need to go at the very least. Oh yeah, we're going back to Eterna Forest because we gotta get for get a Caterpie and a Metapod. Um, I think we are set up and we're good to go. I'll see. I'm gonna get to the position and then I gotta take off. I gotta eat. I'm not gonna eat on camera. No. <laughs> You've just killed all of their hopes and dreams. I, I don't understand why they like it so. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I we have to get going anyway. <laughs> we have places to go and a movie to watch. Uh, Pelagard, I wanna fly. I'll fly, buddy. We don't wanna we don't wanna be here no more. Eterna. Chancy Chancy is not a shiny, but it's Chancy. That's pretty cool. I don't uh believe you brought that joke up. What? I'm talking about probably competitive uses of Pokemon. The course level you gave me for Smoochum has grown into a pretty dang bulky defender. Good, I'm glad! Because it was doing nothing but sitting in my box, so I don't really competitively fight anymore, so if I get to trade my Pokemon out to people who get to use them and they have good lives somewhere, then sure. That that makes me happy at the very least. Oh my gosh, Kim. So our first hunt today was a wild Gengar. And, uh, you have to find this one area in the haunted house where, um, there's a painting on the wall, and if you are not facing it, there's red eyes in the painting. It's a very small room, and there's only eyes if you have a Game Boy Advance insert. And if you're in there with a Game Boy Advance insert in that room, the very small room, you have like a 4% chance of Wild Gengar. Alright, that's ridiculous. Found a shiny! And no one could tell, because I'm filming my screen. <laughs> and this doesn't look good at all, but... Uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you guys think it is, does this setup look okay? I might keep this setup and I might uh, uh, do some more Q-Charm streams uh, as the week goes on now that I'm set up and this is a mess. Um, but I'm glad we were able to do this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, thanks, Charmy B. I do uh, have that list uh, pulled up on the side uh, and we'll be going for them very soon. But I've got a lunch and uh, Kim and I are going to be going out soon. Um, and... Uh, She's off work, so I want to spend my time with that person. Yeah. What episode is this for? Episode number? I have no idea. I never know what episode number I'm on until I go to edit. Um, Crunchy is giving physical attackers a nightmare. <laughs> Crunchy is so good. You know, I named it Crunchy because um, the um, I was trying to get a Marini, and since it was call or uh, Mar Corsolas were being called, and they were basically food, I was like, well, it's Crunchy. Crunchy food. <laughs> Uh, 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 before I forget, do you want to trade Type Null off screen real quick? Oh, um, you yeah, know, that's a good idea. How about this? Everybody who wanted to trade with me, um, because there were several people who wanted to do trades, um, talk to me on Twitter so I know who I'm looking for and I know to stay on for you. Um, but basically, if you want to do trades so that we can, um, you know, fill the living decks up, um, let me know on Twitter so I know who you want. Um, cause otherwise I'm gonna be fumbling through my old Q-Charm stuff and I don't really know who to give you. And I want to give you somebody who you want. Uh, especially if you, you know, you hunted so much for a Pokemon that I really needed. Then, uh, for sure I would want to give you something like that. But, anyway, um, if anybody wants to do trades after this in Pokemon, uh, Sun and Moon, just, uh, let me know and I'll be online in that, um, in, give me, like, five minutes or so. Just send me a message on Twitter of, uh, what you have and what you would like, and uh, we can set it up in a bit. So either way, that for real is now all the time I have for today. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, everybody who joined me either on uh, YouTube and Twitch. We've got uh, uh, Turf Good 3, Charmy B99, uh, Winterman 3DS, uh, Girl Without a Fairy, Another One's Blood, Tsunami Whale, RNG Glaceon, Skull Candy, uh, Aiden, uh, we had Bonnie, uh, jumping in here. Uh, I know a bunch of people had to come and go. Uh, a lot of people were here and gone. So thank you so much for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of these done, uh, which is good. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually really behind on Q-Charm, if you can believe it. So um, we got to film some more of this. So uh, keep an eye out during the week. You will see a notification. Double check that you're subscribed. A lot of people are telling me that YouTube unsubscribed them. 
double check you subscribe double check you got the little bell on and you'll know when we're doing the live stream and you won't miss this so either way um also big thank you to everyone else who was here so we got war tank 11 mutant and uh craigster king uh master hydra and fraser dowd dude is it dude either way that's all the time i have for now guys thank you all so much for watching remember to like the videos and subscribe for more and i will see you all in the next stream for you